And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Show Podcast. After our edition, we're joined with eight lovely ladies. Got a great show planned for y'all. Let's get into it. Let's baby. go. All the night my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious, get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not how it seems. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. This night is All right, we're we live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Show Podcast. We already got 1,100, 1,200 y'all in here. So do me a favor. Like the video, guys. And also, we need some subs because we're going to hit 700K live. Yeah, Come on, guys. Yeah, get us a 700K real uh, real time, guys. We live. need like 200 more subs. So uh, quick announcement, guys, before we get into the show. Number one, patreon.com slash freshfit. We can get all the behind the scenes content you can't get anywhere else, whether it's us, you know, kicking out annoying girls, giving y'all Zoom calls, teach you guys how to make money, whether it's through fine, uh, real estate, cryptocurrency whatever it is we have a bunch of stuff on there that helps you become a better man because being fat and broke is unacceptable and we got y'all we're the number one male and self-improvement podcast in the world for a reason we got you guys in all facets you got to become a complete package we talked about on last uh last episode yeah uh in detail five reasons she'll leave you and a big part of it guys is not having your shit together all right trust me she will leave you yes that is a fact so just accept it patreon.com slash fresh go ahead and get that stuff over there also guys get the merch fresh Red podcast store oh actually you know what uh yeah spotify google totally. podcast uh Go ahead, guys. Listen to us on audio only if you prefer, because I know some of you guys don't have YouTube bread or whatever it is, and you guys want to be able to listen to us on road. No problem. Click that anchor link below. It's anchor.fm slash fresh fit, right, Mo? Yeah, anchor.fm slash fresh fit, guys, is the actual link if you guys want to listen to us on there. And once you click the anchor link, it's going to take you wherever you like to listen, whether it's yeah. Spotify, Google, App Podcast, even CastBox or these other smaller platforms. We got y'all. Just make sure you don't listen to it. Out loud, make sure you have headphones. Gotcha. You get canceled. Exactly. Exactly. You may get fired. Okay, because <laughs> we're will. trending once again. We're probably gonna get canceled again, guys, because uh, of some bullshit that came out. But we're gonna address that here in a second. One million on the way. Yes, one million on the way. Real talk, man. We have a full free marketing team. I know. Okay? Shout out to you guys, dude, man. This is you cannot pay for this, bro. Yeah, you really can't. Bro. You can't even ask for this. People be this paying to go on the shade room. People be paying to go on some of these podcasts, and y'all just talk about us for free, bro. Yo, H3, I'm going to have to cut y'all a check, man, or something, because you guys really are our unpaid marketing team. It Yo, is crazy. They had a chick call in. I'm going to have to give them a 1099 or something. <laughs> Yo, tell them about, about Friday, bro. Oh, yeah. So, so Friday, we're going to respond. <laughs> okay, so let me get through this real quick before, ah, we, before we do that. Okay, okay. Freshwoodpodcaststore.com, guys. Get the t-shirts get the merch, and the merch, man. okay? The Who Hurt You, I Feel Like shirts, because Look, there's a whole bunch of feeling going today on. Today, I'm wearing the merch today, guys, so you know what time it is. What, you went to merch first? Guys. You know what? I have it's... no more clothes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you already know. <laughs> merch is fired. That's fire. Yeah, guys, get the merch. Get the hoodies, T-shirts, everything else like that. They're all in stores. And I also put the uh, Punisher shirt back up. It's up there. Punish bad behavior. Also, guys, go check out our other YouTube channel, Fresh Fit Clips. Clips. We post two clips on there per day, uh, somewhere between the two, to, two to ten minutes. So if you don't got time to watch a full podcast for two to three hours, go ahead and watch the podcast that's somewhere between two to ten minutes. Post two of them per day. Check us out over there. And then if your attention span is even shorter than that, Go ahead and check us out on Fresh shorts. Fit Shorts, okay, guys? All these clips are 60 seconds or less. It's kind of like TikTok, but we've been banned off TikTok, so we got to use TikTok on YouTube. So check us out over there. And then also, Fresh has a vlog channel. Guys, for behind the scenes, man, if you want to see our lifestyle, check out the vlog channel. We do live streams. We do lifestyle videos as well. Uh, last time I did was skydiving, so check it out. And uh, it was mad scary. So uh, check out the vlog channel. And BBC Gang, we're up. BBC means bigger, better confidence. So if you're a white, Asian, I don't care what you are, bro, Indian, you could join a game because it's about confidence. Shout out to y'all, man. Okay. Yeah. Check us out. Uh, check it out, man, because he went with Steve Will Do It. It was fucking awesome. And trust me, Steve made me do it. Yes. He definitely <laughs> made you do it. And you, he, he actually signed his will right yeah. before Yo, he went and did so the job. Guys, right? I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the lamb, boy, feel me? Going mm -hmm. like 120 miles per hour. Oh, yeah, because you don't care about your life on the, you, on the ground. Why you, you care about it in there, right? I'm on my phone with my mom. like, yo, mom, if I die today, update the will. Okay, I'm going to call the lawyer real quick. I got our <laughs> phone call driving there. But my, my will is updated. Nigga, you need a damn will for yourself, too. But, I do. Uh, is all your money yeah. going to go to me if you die? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. The point is, is that like, you know, if that's the case, will. I need a hitman. Wait, <laughs> I shouldn't be a hitman. I messed up, bro. Uh, that's a federal charge. Allegedly, just allegedly, allegedly, interstate commerce. Thank allegedly, you. Mike. Allegedly. Yeah. allegedly. Um, okay, guys. So check us out over there. And then also, guys, check out my other YouTube channel. It's called Fed1811. I break down criminal cases on there for you guys. I literally just did the Tory Lanez breakdown. All Tory, I got to say 
His Meg the Stein was capping all over the place, bro. Okay. Yo, girls be but capping it out. hard, man. Yeah. A three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check us out over there, guys. Um, it, it, it was a great show, man. We I'm one of the few actually, I'm the only person right now that has the police reports. The mm. actual police reports, a bunch of the documents that came from that case that no one else has. We broke it down, read it. And it was uh, it was good stuff, man. So check it out, Fed at eighteen eleven on breakdown cases. This week it's a toss up. I'm either gonna do the forty two Doug case or I'm gonna do the um the Y the YSL case with Young Thug because as you guys Future know gonna... he got picked up uh, for um, racketeering charges on the state though, guys. It's not federal; it's a state case, so, so he's that good, changes right? the game. It's not as bad since it's a state Rico case. It's not as bad. If it was okay. the feds, I would say it's a wrap for him. It's basically. Uh... <laughs> changes it significantly it's not going to be as airtight okay because the feds don't lose the state does though so it's better for him but anyway yeah. let's introduce the lovely lady and uh ladies dm me aaron say pox in the ig oh, yeah. make okay. sure um you know you when you dm me i need to see photos no photos no show and if you flake you're banned to a shadow room simple as that Facts. Okay. Turning Shao Kahn in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, shout out to my boy detox out man, here man shout out to detox man Decon in the back too man he was, <laughs> he was knocked out yeah, be gone in the bag. What's up, man? What's up, man? All right, so uh, ladies, give us your name, your age, what we do for a living, current dating status, education level, and if you want to, of course, your body count. We'll start right here. <laughs> no, <I'm> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. My name is my IG name or your real name, or whatever you my, want. My real name is Sophia, but my artist name is Soba Savage. Okay. And I'm in the Latin industry, music industry. Okay. And I got my side hustles out here in Miami. I'm from Miami. But my parents are Latinos. Cool. How old are you? 22. And um, dating status? Dating status? Baby daddy issues. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Typical Miami girl. Fantastic. Okay. Period. That was easy. And, and um, <laughs> education level? And, uh, um, I mean... I grad, I kind of I like bought my diplo- my high school diploma kind of so <laughs> you can that's, do that? that's another story. What? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll put you guys on in a minute. Oh, um, shit. Okay, that's a finale. Faith in the study, Miami school system. Study wise, uh, I was gonna study uh, fashion design and sound engineering, but I decided to just fly out to LA and study sound engineer myself cool. in studios. So, yeah. Shout out to you. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. All right. So you're a musician, 22 years old. So I guess. So baby daddy, so you're single then, I guess? Yeah. Okay, it's somewhat. It's complicated. Complicated. And yeah. then uh, musician. Okay, I think we covered all bases. Okay, all right. period. All right. What about you? Hey, y'all. My name is Love Thonique. I am an artist. Hey, y'all. Um, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a real estate agent. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, right now I'm working on my album, and um, I trade currency as well. Okay. So um, my education. Forex? Stuff, or... Yes, Forex. Okay. okay. Um, my education status. Um, I do have my bachelor's degree, okay. major in law, and I'm from the justice. Um, okay. I am taken. Okay. Okay. And what was the other question? Uh, That's pretty much it. Pretty uh, much uh, it. Uh, what, uh, your body count. Where'd you do your? <laughs> what did I do? My what? <laughs> uh, where'd you do your undergrad? Um, but don't cook me university. What the hell? But don't cook. Don't cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Don't cook. It's, it's, it's Miami. It's in Miami. What's, uh, what's no, it's not Miami. Miami. It's in the Indian but, Oh, Orlando. But don't cook me university is in Daytona Beach, Florida. It's the okay. HBCU. Okay, it's HBCU. Okay. Right. I was like, bro. Historically, historically black college. Okay. Yes. All right, cool. I'm thinking to ask. But don't don't And then don't don't HSBU that's named but don't that would be too too crazy. Uh okay. And you majored in pre law and criminal justice Yes. All right, cool. All right. All right. What about you? My name is Nani. Um Nani? Nani. Anime. Right, actually. But um I'm twenty one. Um from down south Miami. Twenty one. Right. <laughs> like um, South Miami? No, like Homestead. Oh, homestead. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. yeah. Wait, 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 damn. Tina cut, <laughs> Don't man. Do the, oh shit. Like it's <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Shout out to Sinkholes. We love homestead girls, man. They be out of the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause home is definitely not Miami for them. That's just like Tampa, Florida. Listen, if you if you go and cheat, yeah, you good, my friend. For, for some of the people here that aren't down here in South Florida, Homestead is is all the way, pretty much on like the tip of the state. It's all it's no south. Man's land. To the south. Yeah. It's only like thirty there's, minutes. There's an Air Force base south. down there. It's only it's thirty Everglades. minutes. It's next it's to only Everglades. thirty minutes. Sinkholes. If there's no traffic. If there's traffic, it's gonna be more like two hours. If you don't know how to drive, oh, here we it's go. two hours. Okay. Yeah. Traffic, traffic. It's only thirty minutes yep. to get to Miami. 
Okay. From Homestead. What do you do for it? Um, I'm a note tech and I'm a model. Okay. Okay. Uh, dating status? Oh, I'm single. All right. And education level? Um, I'm currently enrolled in FIU. I'm right. studying business. All right. Cool. Much it. Cool. Welcome. All right. So we got uh two college students on the on the team so far. Okay. Or yeah. one grad and then one. Okay. You got nail glue on you. I broke a nail. I'm sorry. You got nail glue on you. Um, probably downstairs in the car. Actually, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm broken nail. Um, <laughs> Just anyways, not? yeah. Like when I walked in. Anyways, Damn. it's Kiki motherfucking Keep clout, bitches. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back because the old block brought me here. I was in Chicago for a little bit, oh, and shit. they yeah, I had a lot of fans at uh, Chicago Exotica, and they came through, and they were like, "I see you on Fresh Fit. When you going back?" So I'm here. I'm back. Nice. It's good to I'm see back. you. And for the ones who don't motherfucking know me, I'm a porn star. I've been sucking dick on camera for about four years now. <laughs> um, Only fans. Um, I'm the type of bitch who don't put her feelings in her heart, but in her coochie. So, yeah. There Fair you enough. go. Four to your degree in psychology, you yeah. fucking assholes. <laughs> uh, no, welcome back. It's good to see you. When yeah. I saw her walk through, yeah. I was like, yeah, okay, it's been a while. I so. know it has been. I mean, I've been traveling a lot. California, Chicago, New York. I'm back. And yeah. then, oh, I'm going back to New York again for uh, feature dancing. Yeah. And then, I don't know. What's next? Awesome. Shout out to you. No, that's great. It's great. Also, you also do uh, club hostings, right? That's what, yeah, I'm featuring at um, Sapphire's Times Square, June 9th. I did back in January. The last time we were in New York um, with our friends, you know, went to the club and she's performing like the next That's, night. That's, yeah, I, I actually worked at the, I don't, which, which Sapphire's did you go to? It was uh, the one in Times Square. The, That's uh, the one I'm featuring at next. Yeah. This, I was at this, 60th yeah, last time. It wasn't yeah. the one in Times Square that was closed, but it was the one in Manhattan that right down the street. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. And uh, she has merch, by the way. I don't know what yeah. this like, uh, is. Uh, okay, so, no, yeah. Adam called me mids. Fuck Adam. I made a mids. I, no, I showed him anyways. He laughed at it. But I made a fucking weed package or sticker packs. I sold that um, Exotica. People love them. Well, fun fact. We're going to be wrapping to Adam I got today. some for you guys, too. <laughs> so. uh, Fresh will probably take it. And Chris, I'm smoke, but yeah, that's fine. No, no it's, uh, it's not weed. It's no, no, it's not weed. It's, 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 it's a weed pack. It's a weed pack. It's like they put weed in. You can inside. use it for your leftover condoms. Oh, you can? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Why would I keep that shit? Oh, okay. <laughs> so the bitches don't. <laughs> so you can't wait to see the girl's reaction when you put it in there. She's like, what the fuck? Who's that bitch? Okay. That'd be hilarious. How are you talking, nigga? Hey, Shout out to Kiki. She's been with us since what? 20K subs? Yeah. 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 We're small, man. Yeah, we're, we're small. Small. And now she's going to be here with us on the 700K. So there you go. <laughs> Shout out to that. Actually, um, guys, oh. help us hit 700K. We're, how much are we at right now? We're yeah. at. Uh, we at. Uh, Hey, we still need 200, man. 699615. Come yeah, on, guys. Yo. 200 more uh, subs, guys. Okay. Right. What about you? Welcome. Hi, my name is Cam. Um, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm also a brand ambassador. I have my own clothing brand. It's called You Rare. I'm 29. I have some college. Wait, 29. Sorry, I heard that. Yes, sorry. <laughs> I'm 29. I have some college uh, experience uh, majoring in hospitality and tourism. I also do uh, concierge on South Beach. Um, I'm a guest uh, service experience supervisor. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, dating status? I'm confidential. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Uh, complicated but confidential. Yes. All right. <laughs> Sugar Daddy with the NDA. And, uh, yeah. she, <laughs> she bought some some brand for us, some socks yes. and hoodies. So uh, okay, like that for you guys. Hey, I'll wear it, man. All right. Socks. Cool. Okay. And uh, education, you said? Yes. Uh, hospitality and tourism. Some college. Uh, cool. Haven't finished because too busy getting money. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm liking the chain though. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, my brand. You rare. So you guys go follow it and. You'll find streetwear clothing that promotes self confidence, just owning your individuality. Cool. S streetwear or streetwear? Streetwear. 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 Okay. Yes. Streetwear, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Cool. Hi, I'm Jomera. I'm 22. I'm from New York, and okay. I work with insurance. I don't want to say the company, but I work with insurance, and I have my bachelor's in marketing and international business. Nice. Awesome. Um, yeah. How old are you? I'm 22. And then uh, also, dating status? I'm single. And then, um, wait, why'd you roll your eyes? I'm single. Kinda. Yeah, I'm single. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> education level? Um, I have a bachelor's. bachelor's. Yeah. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you. And what did you get your degree in? Marketing and international business. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. And what did you do undergrad? Um, upstate New York. What was what school? New Paltz. Oh, that's it. The fuck is that? I know, no, that's, that's why I didn't say it because okay. I feel like I feel like no one would know. All right, and you said you're from New. Are you from the city or what part? I'm from Yonkers in Westchester. Okay, it's no. next to the. West it's next to the city. Sorry, I heard that. It's yeah, like in the mountains. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like right outside the city. It's, it's where uh, Jada Kiss and D Block. Yeah, my, my, my. Yonkers actually is, used to be very dangerous, man. Oh so. shit. Yeah. 
She might. Did someone you, wander on the way in? Actually. Well, you made it out alive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mom, yeah. You hear today? Well, you, you pat the, the, the pat down or something like that, or had one of the girls do it. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> we're not gonna get wrong. Fantastic. All right, what, what about you? your show? All right, my name's Delicia, but I like to go by D. Your Holy Angel is my Instagram. Um, I work at the post office, and I'm an aspiring model, and I'm 22. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, dating status? Um, still in the situation. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, is it the same guy that you bagged? That you you approached him and did all that? Yeah, yeah. I put it on she him. Like, Stop playing. Like that's that's my <laughs> nigga. She went postal. I want you hey, right now, motherfucker. <laughs> I want you right now, and if you don't, I'm gonna go postal on you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was she's a bad like, joke. She's like, I want to deliver your right, yeah, yeah. right, mail. We'll take mid mid-tier joke. I mean, that was, yeah. that was, that was yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Mid-tier. Damn, the first saying is pretty no, good. I'll, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, I'll take that on that one. Okay. Cool. What about you? What's up, everyone? My name is Esty. I'm 22. I'm from New York. I moved to Miami two years ago. I got my master's last year in broadcast journalism, and I'm currently a model, content creator, and a trivia host. Okay. Ooh. And I'm currently single. So yeah. What what kind of content do you uh, make? Um, different types like fashion, nail stuff, and suppose I enjoy to do that. Okay, so what every other girl makes fantastic. How, how long have you been in uh, Miami? Uh, two years only. Two years. Yeah, I got here when I was twenty. Mm. And you've been on boats and yachts. It's and a wrap, fresh. No, so, she's, 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 she's crafted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you be she's outside got... or no? Sometimes, but not all the time. <laughs> no, she be outside. Yeah, I, I never seen you scanning outside. his database. Where outside? Seen... Though, what are you talking about? Where are you to go? No, no, at this club like Jones, Liv, Vendome. I've been there, but you don't go often though. But I have, like, I've been out, but, like, back. Like, in the summer, I went out OD. Oh, you were, but, but fresh. City. Like we said earlier, if you don't see her. Summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't see her fresh yeah. on Instagram, she's not, you know, she's doing something else. She about to, is, are you, are you going to make it a hot girl summer this summer? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, or a girl. I feel like it's going to be more of a girl boss summer, I think. A girl yeah, boss? Oh, no, God. Here we go. All right, queen. Girl boss. All right, queen. Girl boss. Girl boss. Girl boss. Girl boss. Go, queen. Uh, and, then, and then you said you had your master's in like uh, journalism and yes. marketing? Um, just journalism. Just journalism. Okay. Um, and where'd you get that from? University of Miami. So it's all about you. Okay. UM? All right. You did the, uh, your undergrad and your master's there? I just did my master's. I did my undergrad in Mercy College in Dobbs Ferry, only three years. And then I moved to Miami and did it. Okay. Okay. You're one of those overachievers that was able to get it done. I don't in three know. Years. It just happened. Take, it's, it's a taking club extra credits exam. and stuff. No, it's a club exam. It, it was wasn't a- even an AP exam. Like, oh. I mean, the AP classes. It okay. was just a clip exam for a language, and then you just get your credits and nothing else. Oh, what was the major then for the undergrad? The undergrad was media mm-hmm. studies, TV, and radio production. Okay, okay. Different. All right, cool. All right, um, all right, guys. So uh, that's good. We've got a diverse panel here. So um, with Super Chats real quick, Chris. Yeah. So, and I think we got one video of breakdown here. Yeah. So you guys aren't bitching on forums. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we got y'all, man. Y'all talk that we're listening. Okay, no, no, future. No. I think Chris just takes it personal. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> Niggas, you should. <laughs> no. Uh, future, five bucks. I heard Fresh and Fake can boss up a chick for a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> future. Um, I don't understand that. Future, I don't, I don't future's, that. future's latest album. Um, one of the songs is called For a Nut. Oh, oh, thank you, Mo. Always putting things in context for us. Big he, he, he's he's, Yo, he's inside. Say, he's inside his, watching stuff. his album, my favorite song is called Chickens. Okay. I'm black. I love chicken. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Fresh, you, uh, Chris, you got this one? Yep. Got you. <laughs> You weren't on cue on that one, man. There you go. All right. Uh, the Three Kings, the Fed breakdown on the Meg slash story situation guy. Twitter going crazy. Tour is trending. And now people are really saying the doctor was paid off. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's going viral. Oh, the is it? The doctor came out and said, yeah, when I uh, treated her, it was for glass. So I think you might have sparked something. Oh, it came shit. Out, like a day after. You because she went and did the Gale interview. Mm. And then they had like this little like thing saying there was bullet fragments in her foot. And I was like, well, that doesn't show what the police report said. There was nothing in the police report about bullet fragments in her foot. So that's why there's a there's a discrepancy there, you know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't be surprised, like, hey man, you know what I'm saying, bro? Here's a quick little hundred k. Say there's some bullet fragments. Hold there, on, asshole. hold on, I gotta know. Yeah. Team Tory, Team Meg. Oh, team Meg shit. all day, baby. Stop playing with me. Oh, what? Wait, wait. Uh, okay. who's well, well, hold on, hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, so, we're gonna go around the table on this one. No, I, yeah. Yeah. simple. Raise your hand if you're Team Meg. Oh, okay. Team Meg, raise your hand. Um, I'm a hot girl. Stupid. Okay, so that's four. Wait. Oh, raise oh, your like... hand if you're Team Tory. Oh, no, like I don't know. I don't like short hands. I don't like the no. I, don't I, don't I don't know. Listen, man, when so the facts come I need out, more information. y'all gonna be sorry y'all said that, man. It's all good though. Tory was lying. Tory, what? <laughs> the evidence shows otherwise, but 
Personally, I just feel I like know what the whole like, situation is a mess. Exactly. Why would she lie? Protect her image? She protect her brand? I mean, uh, shit. Okay, but when the facts come out, then it still would be ruined. Exactly. I mean, I mean girls lie all the time, man. Well, I mean... Men lie too, though. Uh, that was uh, makeup. But it's just like, why would I lie and say? <laughs> Raise your hand if you're not wearing makeup. If if, if I understood what girls do exactly all the time, uh, I'd be a, oh, a boss. I'm not wearing makeup. Sorry, it's okay. I was slow. I was slow. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> bro. Objectively speaking, I'll just I'll just give the facts, and people can kind of come to their own conclusions because that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. Okay. Uh, everyone was intoxicated. There was an argument between Meg and her friend, predominantly. They fist fought. They actually got outside the vehicle and started fighting. Sure yes, some Street Fighter type sure shit. Keisha. You know what I'm saying? Like they, 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 home girl they, they basically were in LA, right? Coming from a Kylie Jenner party. There was a pool party, mm, right? Okay. So they leave the party. And you guys can watch more of this on Fed 1811. But I'm just going to so give the quick little cliff notes here so that we get the basic understanding. Leave the pool party. There's an argument between Meg and her friend, okay? And the friend had sex with Tori. And Tori also had friend uh, sex with with Meg. Mm -hmm. And I think he potentially was hooking up with uh, Kylie Jenner as well. But regardless, they're all intoxicated arguing. But predominantly, the two friends are fighting. So they pull over on the side of the road in a very affluent area in LA, and they start fist fighting. That's why the cops were called in the first place, because there was a bunch of ruckus and noise. Then there were some gunshots fired, somewhere around four to five gunshots. But no one can definitively uh, identify who had the gun. No witnesses have come forward or anything. And on top of that, the DNA was not found. Tori's DNA was not found on the gun, right? It came back as inconclusive. And <clears throat> no, no, no uh, DNA on the magazine, the, the clip for the gun. However, there was gun residue on the friend, not on Tori. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that she shot Meg, but when you line things up properly, they were the ones that were physically fighting. The gunshot residue was on the friend's hand. The friend's hand has been silent throughout the whole situation. Tori can't talk on the situation because there's a protective order in place where he can't necessarily talk. If he does, he goes to jail. He made a tweet about it and he ended up getting arrested. So these are the facts, okay? Mm -hmm. So you guys can, you know, come to your own conclusions on what you think, but from a, and you, you studied law, right? So mm -hmm. we know, right, that you gotta be proven guilty beyond a reasonable too. doubt. Yeah. So there's quite a bit of reasonable doubt here based on the facts and circumstances of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So. She could talk and control the narrative right now. However, Tori can't. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that Gail interview kind of revealed that because she kept perpetuating, I'm a victim, I'm a victim, I'm a yep. victim. But if you listen mm -hmm. to that interview and combine it with the other stories, because she had done two IG stories in the past, which I don't know why the hell her attorneys even let her get on Instagram live, but the stories conflict. And the report also paints a certain narrative. So things just aren't adding up. And it's a very strange situation. So somebody's so, lying. So yeah, there's something is off. That's Tori. all I'm saying. So uh, NCIS. Okay. Uh, okay. What was that? Did somebody say something? She mail, said lady. Tori, but okay. I feel like if the facts are leading to the friend, then why she isn't in jail? Exactly. Well, because we mm -hmm. live in a society nowadays where it's believe all women, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I don't believe that. I mean, if Meg knew no, that I the friend shot her, she should be in jail. She shouldn't be blaming Tori, shit. but I don't well, know. Well, we don't know that. We don't, we don't know. You but said I, based I'm, off the evidence. But, but based off the evidence, it would not be... It, it, you could come to the logical conclusion that she potentially was the one that fired the firearm. You know? But we don't know. But uh, everything, the reason why they arrested Tory, guys, because you guys are probably wondering why did they arrest him? When they pulled the car over, he was in the front seat, which contradicts what she said on the Instagram stories, by the way. She said yeah, she, she was, was in the front, front seat originally. He was in the back seat. Thank right. you. Someone knows. So, well, but the police report shows that Tory was in the front seat and the gun was in the front seat with him. So when they booked him, they said he was in constructive possession of the firearm. Yep. My legal person with me, what does that mean? Wait, say it again. He was in constructive, constructive possession of the firearm. What does that mean? So that means that he probably could get charged with that. No, that means someone hopped the gun in the front where he was at or wherever the hell he was She was kind of halfway there. Well, that pretty much means somebody... like... It, it, go ahead, please. No, you can go. No, no, no. I, I want to see what you're going to say. You no. were somewhat there. You were somewhat there. You were almost there. No, no, no. I was just saying that, well, what I learned that I know that if somebody in the front seat and the gun is there, then that person is li that that person can be liable for that. Yeah. yeah. So... So yeah, and, that, and that basically the constructive possession, guys, is like it's a term that you use when it's like I can't prove that you had the gun, but, but it would make sense that you had the gun. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So what about That's the true. DMs that came out between Tori and Megan? Was those not proved true or were they false? Well, there's no real context in it. It's just like, hey, please be quiet, blah blah blah, that type of shit. But we don't know because he already knows yeah. that like when when you're in the media, like they're gonna always spin things in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's like, and you don't control the narrative. So yeah. he probably was trying to like, yo, this is gonna be 
a bad look for both of us. Right. So I, it's like, you know, it is what it is. But I, I just, I, I feel like Merch, Tori please. basically, like, pretty much I just feel like Meg threw Tori in the doghouse because Tori was already in the doghouse before that incident already went down. And now that, like, mind you, this has been two years later now that, oh, there's more and more stuff coming out. It's just been a jump, a messy jump from the beginning. At first, Kylie Jenner was in it. Then now she's not in it. Then now her best friend's in it. Like, to me, it, and from the jump, to me, it all sounded like everybody was in the car fighting over Tori. Shit got out of control, mm. and somebody got mad. And just from a logical sense, if if um, why would Tori like be sitting there fighting with a uh, with girls that fucked him? Does that make sense? Like, think about that from a logic. The girls are mad at each other and arguing. That's really what it comes down to. And they were the ones fist fighting. We know that for for a fact that they were right. fist fighting because they also found like nails and one of the girls' chains on the floor because mm. they stopped, wow. pulled over, fought. There was some, you know. Stuff there, stuff, yeah, and then they drove off and they were able to pick that stuff up and they found the bullet fragments. So we know for a fact that they were the ones fist fighting, and right. the residue was on the friend, uh, was on the friend, not from Tori. So, what's that song, hey, man? Can what's that song, Hot Gal in the Fight Over Man? I never, but heard it. <laughs> there also has been evidence that Tori has a background of being aggressive and like fighting with people. So, I'm not trying to put it on Tori at the end that's of the irrelevant. day. I mean, why do you we say that's irrelevant? Well, because, because you can't you can't use like stuff from before, like, oh yeah, well, we know that you're violent or whatever. Like that doesn't really come into play. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like violent with a woman, you feel like it doesn't come into play? Yeah, I mean, in the in the eyes of the law, you can't use like other, you know, potential things that aren't necessarily proven. Like that could come right. into sentencing, but it's not gonna come in the actual active case. I get you. That can be used for sentencing purposes, though. Listen, man. Yeah, and... stick, stick to the post office. No. <laughs> no, I said what I said. Megan ain't doing the shit. I get it. I get it. Yeah. She's speaking from a from a fat perspective. Bitch. I get What's... it. But like Damn. being well, you like her music, right? I do, but that has nothing to man. do with it. Oh. Let's move on, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's fine. Like I get it, because a lot of women feel the way that you do. I'm gonna rock with her right. no matter what. Yeah, yeah. But again, it was, you know, media training, painting a certain narrative, making herself look like a victim. You know, we live in a world nowadays, I hate to say it, but you guys might get offended by saying this. We live in a believe all women society. If a girl comes out first and says, This happened to me, this happened to me, the public is gonna believe her. Look at the Amber Heard trial right now with Johnny Depp. She looking all That's kinds true. of fucking crazy, <laughs> yeah. Right? Because girls, right, unfortunately, yeah. they know that they're gonna get the benefit of the doubt nine out of ten times when the man is the Accused aggressor. Yeah. Speaking of which, we're gonna expose this dumb hoe on a on uh on Friday, Friday guys. Some girl tried yeah. to make some bullshit calling into H3 or whatever. Uh we got some receipts and Fresh is gonna give y'all because Fresh was she fucked Listen, up. Listen, man, I'll say this. Stupid. It is so funny when people come here, right? And they try to act like all nice and whatever. I try to like frame us in a certain light, but bro, like, you can't you can't expose what's already been exposed. Like we do what we do. Now, how you react to that is on you, but hey, it's what it is. Yeah, Um. so we, we don't worry, guys. We're going to react to it on Friday. We got proof uh, that shows that it's capped. But going back to the Tory situation, long story short, they're going to give her the benefit of the doubt. And remember, she can control the narrative. Tory can't speak. Okay. Yeah, so. I do agree on, on the on the woman's situation. That is true. That's a fact. But can I know what's her sign? What's Megan's sign? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. What's I don't her zodiac sign? I don't, I don't know. know. Shit, I'll give my opinion when I know her sign. Uh, this shit. Uh, I, I don't know her sign. Talk somebody's sign if they're guilty or not. Come on. <laughs> She's a Taurus. I mean, She's guilty. <laughs> She's a Taurus? No, no, no. I'm just saying. Uh, someone in the chat's probably going to say it. So, uh, okay. Any Anything else before we move She's on? She's an Aquarius. Aquarius. She's like, oh, oh, that bitch is tough. She's a real fan. Yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. 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 no. biased yeah. as hell. That's, that's, that's one of the toxic. most aggressive signs. Literally. So. Yeah. They love to fight. Yeah. They love oh, to yeah. fight. Yeah. She hilarious. has been called out for other shit, too, though. It bro. doesn't. But, What's this sign? But this case been going on for <laughs> so Two years. long. Yeah. It's been going on yeah, well, for so long. Yeah. New shit gets you don't added know. every year. You don't know who to believe, but I know that is true because I've worked on a case like that where a woman had a gun in the front seat and she was held liable to that situation mm -hmm. and then she was in jail for like five years and then later on they found out that she was innocent so wow. it's it wow. took literally wow. that long wow. okay. so he Damn. could he could yeah because they don't have definitive proof we actually shot the gun right um so anyway oh and the other thing too real quick i forgot to mention this with you another big red flag he can't talk about anything that was given to him by the uh prosecution so in other words right when you're get arrested there's a process called discovery. Yep. You have to turn mm -hmm. the evidence over, right? right yep. Like if I arrest, let's say I arrest Kiki. Kiki, I'm arresting you for Kiki, robbing a bank and you love me? sucking a guard stick and they're in the process of it, right? Mm -hmm. I have to be able to, um, I have to give her defense 
all the documents that the state or the government, whoever is prosecuting her, has against her. I have to I have to do that. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, yep. it's a procedure in law. So um, basically, there's probably a bunch of evidence that actually exonerates Tory, mm -hmm. right? That makes him not the liable suspect, but well, he, he can't, can't come say, out and yeah, talk about it true. because it's been given to him through the discovery process. Mm -hmm. So he can't even clear his name right now based off the information mm -hmm. that's given to him. So I think the public also needs to know that and as well. And it's funny, man. All Tory's team knows Cap. So it's just a matter of time. People in the industry know as well yeah, that yeah. there's some there's some fishy All stuff right, going on. Some, but some, anyway. Some more chats here. Okay. Cool. Uh, statement from our uh, 19 year old chick named... All right. <laughs> Yeah, we got y'all. Don't worry. We got we we're gonna cover no, that on uh let's read all of that, man. Okay. It goes statement from our 19 year old chick named Daniela Timpool goes on H3 podcast trying to embarrass you. This is the type of annoyance I was referring to yesterday. Don't worry. We're gonna let that we we we're <laughs> gonna expose her. We, we got her like uh she done goof, bro, guys. Uh because <laughs> I'll tell yeah, we got the fucking facts over here. So she gonna look crazy here in a bit because she fucked up because she spent a significant amount of time hanging out with Fresh. And saying certain things. Facts. So uh, anyway, that's a whole other thing. It don't add up. Uh, okay, Fresh BBC, Kiki, because you were hanging out with her friend. What? Yeah. Uh, Kiki, when you gonna let us tear that thing down? <laughs> this is for Fresh's dick, by the way. Okay, when you gonna let us tear that thing down? I'm trying to see what all the hype is about, and I want it all, especially that mouth. Time to make our long-awaited debut on the popular website, <laughs> black.com. Let's go, Fresh. Uh, it's the, no. it's, the, it's the handle for me. No. Like, just uh, read yeah, it. Fresh's BBC, yes. Uh, and it's Chris Black. Listen, right? Kiki's the homie, all right? Oh, the you homie. gotta understand, yeah. man. Like, yeah. Chill out, nigga. <laughs> Well, if he wants the close experience, the closest he's going to get is a uh, virtual reality porn with me. No. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hakeem B, five bucks. Green Beanie, spin all types of allegations about you without proof and H3 running with it for views. Protect yourself from the cap traps. Don't worry, guys. We have everything uh, <laughs> backed up. Uh, so that's why we're actually laughing as we saw it. Uh, buckle up. This will be a rough one. Shout out to Christina. Okay. okay. Uh, hey, Myron, the doctor that treated Meg confirmed that he treated her for glass cuts, not bullet fragments, ready for her to take an L in court. And that's from Desmond Montgomery. Yeah, I, ta I talked about that in the report. Uh, future, thanks, Ethan, for bringing new subs over to the channel. City boys, we up. Turbo nerd. Hashtag 700K. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, he's our unpaid marketing team. Michael Canonis in the Smasher Pass show, Quantum criticized the guy for posing with a car that wasn't his. Why Quantum posing with the Lambo, though? Make it make sense. <laughs> oh, 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 shots oh, fired. Shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, because uh, Icy and um, yeah, Quantum, Quantum. Did a, a video uh, the, photo shoot. Again, okay. I hate to say it, but this is a double standard that benefits women. If yeah. they pose with an exotic car, no one bats an eye. But if you pose an exotic car and it ain't yours, it's going to be a bad look, guys. No, it is. That's the difference <laughs> it's an L. between men and women. Uh, because no guy's going to be like, damn, she drives a Lambo. I want to lick her clit. No one does that shit. <laughs> no, no one gives a fuck. Mm -hmm. It depends. True. It, it would depends. be surprised. But that's like the 5%. Uh, I don't know. So. That's the majority. Oh. Only really? reason why I don't think so yeah. because a female could be dirty and a man still would want to. <laughs> Literally, like, it's, it's not we even really care. about the money. But if a female see a man, dang, he got money. A female might want to fuck. You feel me? Right. But it's different. Like a woman ain't got to have a degree. None of that. A man still might wife her. Literally. Well yeah. said. That nigga spitting. You know, <laughs> you know how men think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, like again, <laughs> it's not that like. It's just that men are indifferent. Like, if you got a Lamborghini or a Toyota, if she's bad, she's bad. They're not going to give a fuck what you drive. Mm, yeah. Versus so, for a man, if you have a Toyota versus a Lambo, that's mm, significant to the attraction process. Yep. So would you say men fuck anything? No, I mean, not anything. Yeah, yeah they yeah, fuck yeah, anything. Much. Much. Fuck anything. Uh, when they see that a girl is, like, on a certain level, they'll try to impress what they don't got in order to, like, impress her. And, yeah, yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? For the for the simple fact that she got, like, an AP, like a bust down or a chain or... Oh, she, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a buy her this to like, mm -hmm. and not, but if she's like a regular girl, they'll just want to fuck and that's it. That's well, it. Well, let's be real. Mm -hmm. Girls that have money don't care about your money. You got to do other shit to, to impress that's them. That's a fact. But that's sometimes that's money. Mm -hmm. so, so, so you're doing that's kind of like mute because right. probably you're a bum nigga because you want to impress her. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so, feel like that's a hundred percent of okay. that. Yeah, so you brought up a very interesting topic and I want to put the fo shoe on the other foot here because you mentioned a guy right? If he sees a girl and she has an AP or whatever, he's going to try to flex a little bit more because she has a certain lifestyle, right? Yeah. Like, he'll try to spend like, okay. extra. You know what I'm That's saying? That's a fair assessment because she's of a certain status, so he knows exactly. he's got to elevate. Okay, let's switch around, though. And he won't just try to fuck in that thing. Hold on, hold on. Let's switch around. Okay. Let's say you meet a guy, right? Mm -hmm. And he's all balled out and everything else like that, but he likes you. Do you realistically go get, have to get an AP to compete? Fresh? No. Wait, let, wait, are you saying that? No, 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 that's not what I mean. No, 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 no. That's, it's not about what you mean. 
I'm just spinning the scenario so that it makes sense for the ladies here. Mm-hmm. Wait, one, more time, one more time. Pay okay. attention. Okay, ladies. <laughs> you said earlier that when a gra- girl, guy meets a girl, right, and she has an AP, or she, let's say she's financially set. Or she's got a nice car or something. Yeah. He's at least going to try to match that, if not outdo her, correct? Mm-hmm. Not outdo her. Try to impress her by giving her, like, let's say, like, He's trying to match bands. it. He's trying to match it. Mm-hmm. Or, or be like, listen, I'll, I'm going to buy you this and I haven't even fucked you. The point I'm trying to make is that uh-huh. he's trying to match that. If yeah, not, yeah. exceed it. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. Let's be honest here. Yeah. Right? She has an AP. All right, I need to show that I got money, too. The other way around, a girl meets a guy. He clearly has money. Okay. Let's be honest here. Most okay, girls got to okay. say, look at my AP. Look at my Lambo and shit. <laughs> no, right? No. That's the difference. But, That's that proved my point even further that oh, yeah, with sure. men, your status means something. With women, your status don't mean shit. If you meet a guy and he has status, you're not going to sit there and be like, well, I got an AP tour or some shit to try to impress him because you already know. He's talking to you. He likes you. You don't got to do more, right? Yeah. I don't know. Gotcha, bitch. And I think that's the biggest difference between men and women is that a woman flexing her status, no one gives a fuck, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the guy's going to rise up. But of course, guy, it's completely but, different. But for the man, like, if he has status and the girl comes in, she's just going to, she don't got to do nothing all the time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Men don't care about a woman's so, status. That is true. Can I ask the question? Yeah. What about if the woman has her own bag and like the man's trying to come, like basically they match, they match each other's status. What are we flexing for? Like if he has a Lambo, I have a Lambo. If he has an AP, I have an AP. What are we flexing Because they for? have to. Why? Women don't date down. It's simple. They don't have to, like if you have a Lambo, let's say you make $100,000 a year. Okay. Are you going to date a guy that makes $30,000 a year? I just might based off his personality. Come on, man. I just really? might. Really? Seriously. Thousand, What's she saying is I real? just might. I just might. So like I so, have, matter of fact, let's be real personal, real honest. I have taken that dive. Like have, I've, I've had ballers and I've had bums. Like it just, I'm a personality so bitch. Gonna, I get my money regardless. You're gonna pay all the bills. Mm-hmm. I take, I take care of that man. Hell yeah. Oh no, I'm not taking care of you, but you can have <laughs> no, a little. No, he's making thirty k. He can't afford to maintain you. What do you mean? Fifteen k is what you need, at least a, enough for a um. A he's in debt. He has bills. Money. How's he gonna take care of you? There you Break go. It. All right. Well, I mean, it, it, you, I'm, I'm just saying. And, and, and we'll, just make, we'll just make it simple. The guys that, the bums that you dated, how long did, they, did you date them for? <laughs> Six months. Okay. okay but where are they at that's now? That's the point. Exactly. There's that's a difference it. between a bum that <laughs> is just a straight bum. That's the point, though. There, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a, there's a diff, there is, though. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a McDonald's worker. There's a hold bum. On. I, I want to ask there's you, right? a garbage yeah, worker. Look, you're, you're definitely... On a scale of like boss babe, right? You got your shit together. Are you gonna date a bum? Of course not. And what do you want? I got on your level or higher, right? I do want someone on my level or higher, but at the end of the day, like I'm gonna be honest, mm-hmm. I would naturally want to date for love. I would naturally want to date for love, but right now in these times, it just isn't. You know, it's not practical. Yeah, so yeah. you might as well just date for money. Love don't pay the bills. Ooh. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it's it just, doesn't at all. Like, yes. I, like I said, it, it's just an uncomfortable reality that women date across hierarchies, if not preferably above. So I know a girl say, but I've dated a bum before. Fantastic. Where's he at now? Gone, <laughs> Gone. nine out of ten times. Back in our younger days, you know, when you were kids, you didn't want for much. But now matter. as adults. Now, yeah. mm-hmm. I've, I've always said that as a woman becomes older and older, or if she's very attractive, she has less and less patience for your ineptitude as a man. True. That's but the reality. I don't, I don't, I don't that's agree true. with that because I feel like women are more willing to date somebody down like that's what i'm saying like i feel like really? women yeah, yeah. To, in my opinion it like, depends on a woman maybe yeah. i get what you're saying the there woman. definitely oh. is a lot of women in this it world who will not woman. date down if you're not making as more the money than her she's not gonna even Hold look on. at you i'm curious how do you feel about this so i did have a question though because what if like you do date like a bum or whatever and like you grow with him or yeah. exactly. like, actually, like, yeah. if you're pushing him a bit just to get on your level because you love him obviously exactly. you want to exactly. build a future with him or instead sure of like potential. that because that's the thing though like marriage like you use a commitment and then you're supposed to be together and mm-hmm. grow so like that's what i thought so you're saying you date a bum Help him grow. <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> no, he has like, potential. Like, if, if he has potential, let's say like he needs a push. Like, you know, like sometimes they need a little bit of more support. Like they're right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, but just need a little right. support. Like here's I the only know, problem. If it? you help him get to a certain level, I guarantee you, for the most part, he's probably gonna leave your ass. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, well, like, well, because it now, always so like, like, yeah. guess what, right? He's maybe making money, got a nice car in different environments, Getting seeing attention. bad bitches all the time. That's You're, I'm tired of your pussy. I, I, I've been with you. I'm going to go somewhere else. <laughs> it happens all the time. That does. Now, how do you feel about this? Me? I don't know because, like, what are we... 
what's a bum though? Like he's not trying like, at all. Is that what? Less money than like you. is he trying at least like, to okay. get a job? I'm to, not like... saying that because he makes less money. He's. Well. I'm just saying that, like he's not ambitious. He's not going oh, anywhere. Okay. He's working a regular job. He's not really gonna give you that lifestyle that you want. Okay, then no. I mean, if he's trying, then maybe. But if he has no ambition, then like I probably wouldn't waste my time. Yeah. 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 Of course. What about you? Oh, I have a lot to say because it, it, I used to be about the ride or die. I used to, but every time it's been ride or die, it done die. You know? Every time, I, nah, I don't right. got time for that. But unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, I'm, I consider myself an alpha. So it's really hard oh, when, when, a, when, a, when, a, when a woman is an alpha, normally she, she um, attracts like Betas? bums. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I, I'm going to be real. With this uh, F1 event that has been going on, I, I tried. I was like, yo, you know what? Because I'm a Miami girl. I'm tired of going out. I'm tired of clubbing. That shit don't impress me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the events because all the all the billionaires going to be there. And I'm be like, let's see who I can meet, you know? Because I'd rather be going back and forth with a billionaire than a bum. <laughs> I'd be trying. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to try it. But then I start talking to motherfuckers and like... Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. And I'm like damn bro like i wish i could be that type of girl to be able to like like pretend uh, how do i say it in, in english? english i don't know how to say it aguantarme como play the role on to it. aguantarme like like uh mm. put up with a, like with a guy with that's them. just because nice. he's on a certain level right Tolerate. i gotta put up with that because he's the one like you know like who needs more time. not maintaining me because i can maintain myself Your but like winner. giving me the, what we was talking about mm -hmm. that extra what are we saying Remember that you like, were like that extra. I get, yeah, I get that what you're saying. We were talking about city girls. Remember? Oh, okay. I forgot. That no, no, uh, I whatever. Get what you're like, for example, you wish you could be the girl like a date, like, like a sugar daddy. Because like, I'm yeah, cool I can, it. I can pay my own bills, but shit, if you can give me a Ferrari, okay, I'll accept it. But mm. I can't put up with a motherfucker just because he got money, you know? Okay. So then, unfortunately, I do attract bums because like. I don't know why. I just no, you deal with city boys and you smash them, don't <laughs> because you? Because you just can't be submissive. That's what. Yeah, yeah. 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 I felt that. Being Mike, submissive. Mike. So. And I'll tell you this: most guys with that type of money are not gonna uh, tolerate that you you being yeah. alpha. Uh -oh. exactly. and, so. and if a motherfucker gonna give me an attitude, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be like, oh, let me let me calm down because yeah, he's what paying they my want. Fuck is you talking to? Gee, that nah, is she that's capping. exactly ah, what they she want. She is capping. Because yeah. these uh -uh. niggas are all weak. Not just females, but that's not me. She's so smashed though. I ain't gonna lie. This, this <laughs> culture, man. What about you? How do you feel about this? Um. Well, prospectively... Because you got I a man, feel... so you... Okay, oh, well, yeah. okay, yeah. So I feel like... Merch. I feel like... Merch. Um... <laughs> oh, you want me to speak? Oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no go ahead, oh, okay. Don't worry about Nigga, first. put the camera on you, nigga. Yeah. Don't worry about the merch. T-shirts t t t on <laughs> in stores, guys. No, I feel like T-shirt, but go ahead, continue. Okay. Talk, man. Yeah. Um, oh, I feel like um, I don't want to date anybody Um. Same. that can't provide for me like that okay. can't you know just do things for me because i come with my own money you know i have my own business you mm -hmm. know I, I have my own stuff but i still want somebody to like be kind as in exactly. like i do like if you if you're getting paid or you could just say something like okay yeah here you go like this for your mortgage this month or something just say something like get your nails and toes done but like I usually do that stuff by myself. Exactly. Yeah, that's fine. Really? Like, you know, but I would like, I would like for kindness. You know, I would like for you to be sincere and just offer it just because so you, you want, know. Oh. So you want a generous type of personality mm -hmm. that still could take care of you. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, that could take care of me. Okay. And last but not least, how do you feel about this? I'm all like. Because you, you said you dated bum, but. <laughs> oh, you know what? We all. Nah, question, did we all. Would you do it again? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes or no? He was ghetto as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Would you do it again? Up. No. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Uh, real quick, I, I, I took some notes as the ladies were speaking, and this is going to kind of uh, go to your question, and then also address what she was mentioning, and then also what you were saying, which you actually just proved yourself wrong just a second ago, but it's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll date a bum, I'll date down. Uh, okay, so this is what I've come to realize. So... When girls say, oh, we should build together or a guy that has ambition uh -uh. or he's right there, or I can motivate him a little bit. That sounds great on paper, but it doesn't work in practicality. Most True. girls want to just come in. Guy knows what the fuck he's doing. He understands what he's got to do. Teach and that's me. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't want a guy that they got to come in and it's a project. Like, every now and then, that's okay. And what yeah. I've come to realize just from talking to a lot of girls is when they're younger or they're coming up, 
they'll accept a man that has doesn't have his shit together. Yeah. Okay. In the beginning, but nine out of ten times, all it takes is one fucking bum or one bad relationship with someone that didn't have their shit together mm -hmm. for them to say, "I'm never doing this again." Yeah. Which you hit the nail on the head for me earlier. Girls will tell. Yeah, hey, look at you smiling right now. You already know. You guys can each of you at the table can probably think of two or three guys that you took a chance on. Realize he's not. He's never going to get his shit together. As much as I motivate him, whatever, because he just doesn't have it here. I'm going to move on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, I get it. Can a girl date down? Yes. Sounds great on paper. Built together, all sort of shit. But you know what else sounds good on paper? Communism, and we know what the fuck happened there. Facts. All right. It doesn't work in practicality. It sounds good on paper. So what I've realized is, as a woman gets older makes more money and climbs up the totem pole. Yo. Her tolerance for a man not having a shit together goes down and down and down. You have a master's degree right now, right? You have a bachelor's. Uh, who else here has a degree? You have a degree. Are y'all going to see some, are you guys going to take seriously a guy, let's say that doesn't even have his uh, bachelor's degree at this point? Yeah. I mean, I could um, take somebody. Let's, let's say they're not Thank earning you. as much as you though. Oh, okay. If they not, I mean, if they don't, they could have their high school diploma. They making that check. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm about to say. So I mean, it's not important geez. in this day and age. No, yeah. and it's not. But that's. But I'm trying to show you guys that, that how how women think in general. So, would you date a guy that doesn't have his degree and makes less than you? Um, I don't think so. Keep it a thousand. Okay. I mean, I feel like I'm 22. Like I can't be that. Like I'm not that picky, I guess, about it. Because I guess if they don't have everything together, or they don't have their bachelor's degree. Like I don't mind. Yeah, but let's say they don't. They don't have money either. Like they don't work. Yeah, don't like or they're trying to find a job or they're in between or whatever. I mean, if they're trying to find a job, then like that's. Some... I feel like in the beginning, mm -hmm. one thousand, bro. Like, don't don't lie just because. No, you're on like the pod. I'm like, so serious. Like, like I... you'll you'll date a guy that's like trying to figure it out and like everything, even though you got a degree and he's graduated high school, but he's like just in the middle of shit hanging out. I mean, I guess if it takes too long, then maybe no. But mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll give it a little chance. We'll see. If I'm 22, okay. I'm not well, gonna date no 19. Oh no, no, I'm not dating no, no one younger. That's not no hell. No, okay. yeah. Go ahead. Did you have something? Um, I was saying. Well, I feel like um, if he getting his stuff together, maybe he just need to get it together. And yeah. Then after, then we can rekindle whatever we was yeah. gonna have. But sometimes men just need that time for themselves. Yeah. To right. get yeah. themselves together, right. but yeah. not with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, and, and thank you for keeping it a thousand because I, I I don't know why so many girls are scared to admit that. That I don't want necessarily want to date a guy. Some girls will admit it, but a lot of girls don't want to admit that or say I want a guy on my level. They'll just say some bullshit like he needs to have ambition or he's got to be on my level. Translation: You either got to a be on it right now or b be on that fucking path, and I can see a tangible finish to this yeah, bullshit. Well, yeah. And, and, and you're there. And I think that's very important for the guys to understand that women do really care about where you are when they meet you from a socioeconomic level to a degree. And then the more money she makes, the more success she has, the more degrees, the more she's going to be picky. Kiki is an outlier here, but Kiki, how do you feel about this? Kiki. Bums are billionaires? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, even come a on. question for me. What? No, I ain't fucking with no bum. <laughs> there you go. Period. I got my own shit going on. Why would I, like, put myself down just to, like, be there for somebody who ain't even, like, willing to work and be for themselves. Big no. dick. There you big, go. He said, the, big the dick don't mean nothing. Like, no, I could fuck myself. Exactly. Y'all exactly. exactly. yeah, yeah, know I fuck Thank better you. than he probably would anyway. Say it again. Yeah. Yeah. Say it again. Okay. 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 you know what I hate? When right. okay. So, so we, we, so we someone had one last thing and then we'll, and then we'll go to chat. So, I hate, I hate when the motherfuckers like, Let's make money together. Why the fuck you need me to make money? Because you want to keep your money. Why the fuck you need me to make money? Go make your own money. Y'all yo, yo, never fall for that. Finally, I'm telling y'all. Never fall for finally. that. You know, you know why? why that was the first. Me? You know why? Why said that? I think that's make first. Make your own yeah. money. Yeah. But fuck? it's good. Though. You know why? Because most girls want to hear that. Yeah. No. No. no, no, no. no, no. I got to give a Don Marco for that because. Yeah. Don Marco. I need the girls at the table. This is a turning, a, a, turning, uh, a, a learning point for the ladies here. Guys will say stupid shit like let's get a bag together, let's grow together, let's make money. <laughs> Translation, I don't necessarily have my shit together, but I'm gonna string you along and create the illusion that we could potentially create that money together and yeah, let me potentially right. siphon yeah. off you yeah. 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 whatever. Right. 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 And, and a lot of girls so fall for that wow. bullshit. They fall All the for time. it. They be pimps though. Most they of fall the time. for it. Yeah, or yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So um, so my thing is finally a girl so is, sees through the matrix and sees like, okay, like, yo, this is some cap right here. So, well, to be fair, she's from Miami. So, she's yeah, seen so everything. she knows. She, but that is a common tactic that guys will say like, oh yeah, let's get it back together. Listen, man, any guy that has his life together, whatever, you don't fucking need you, bro. You come exactly. in to accentuate his life, not to be a focus of it. That's the truth. Ask him, be so, like, are you a pimp? 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. We'll, we'll right. some chats here. Yeah, we'll hit some of these chats. And then uh, we and should guys. probably, let's kill the Twitch stream real quick and Twitter stream. Guys, come on over to YouTube because we've been talking about pimping and all this other shit. And I already know that Twitch is, is very sensitive to that. I don't so, know why. Oh, I'm getting from you Jenny from the Block vibes. <laughs> Jenny oh, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Jenny from the Block? Yeah. Where are you yeah. from? Barbados. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. where are you from? Hylia? Yeah. <laughs> right I was born in Apalaco where the city girls oh, Apalaco hey. okay oh shit <laughs> but then as a teenager I moved to like a bougier side so Can I got I... best of both worlds and then I'm Argentinian and Colombian that's trouble right there shout out right. Apalaco alright okay well, uh, we got uh, just want to say what up FNF gang lol no Rico okay beats by ISO Dom y'all should have Kiki on Money Monday she gave me and my girl advice that made us uh, 5k in 3 weeks at a con- convention in uh, Chicago. Hey, wow. Gotta be a maybe. <laughs> I'm sure go. it's some OnlyFans uh, oh, advice. Probably. Okay. Uh, Mems143. Much love from Arizona. And ladies, do you spit or swallow? Real quick. Both. Oh. On the panel. <laughs> spit or swallow? <laughs> swallow? Swallow. My nigga. <laughs> My man is watching this, but I spit and swallow. <laughs> no, no. Wait. Which one do you do? You got a man? I do both. You do both? Oh. Yeah. You spit that man, that man's seat out? I mean, oh wait, I'm oh. tripping. I don't spit at all. I swallow. I'm tripping. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> I was about to say. Fresh she was thinking about the other guy before the guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she was thinking about. Oh, so like, wait, the guy oh, before this dude? Okay, yeah, now yeah, no, I spit his shit. But this guy right now, I, I swallow. swallow. Yeah. Okay. What about you? No comment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. You gotta say one or the other. No comment. I can't. Get it? It's Come. confidential. It's confidential. It's confidential it's information. Come. No. No. Okay, I tried. <laughs> it, it, if she don't want to answer, it means she's going to she swallow. Yeah, yeah he swallows. Yeah, 1, so yeah, look, there's a reaction the right there that you need to see. Oh, I'm not on the mood. I'm versatile. It depends yeah. on the mood. What's yeah. the mood? It depends on what my man wants. Okay. Ooh, and wow. it depends if I adore you or not. Ooh. That's yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a question. What satisfaction do y'all get from a woman swallowing your nut? Ego. You know what it is? You know what's my question? Like, like, oh, it tastes uh, good to you. Yeah, Ooh, see, like that that's shit. another thing I was going to get to. It mm-hmm. depends on if his uh, diet is clean because some mm-hmm. men got some raunchy ass nut. He be eating nasty sodas and pizza and smoking well, and shit. Ugh. That's why you can smell it. You could, it. Yeah. Yeah. Smell it. Is red dye. You could even smell it in their urine. Like, yes. if that nigga smokes and drinks and just bullshits with his body all day, you can smell it in his urine. Eat some pineapple. Stop playing. If you care about your man, don't put them on the Jack Carlo. It works for men it's, too, though. It's for both. Nah, it's really. for both. Okay. Making Drink some water. Tea. What, what about yeah. you? <laughs> Honestly, it just, it really just depends on what the fuck I'm doing. Like, <laughs> what does that mean? It really, okay. Pretty much, like, if I like you. Okay. Yeah. So if you yeah. like a person, you'll do it. If you don't like a person yeah. at all, nah. Exactly. Translation: All the guys that she supported in the past that she broke up with, she spit them shit niggas shits out. <laughs> but then when she's with guys that she likes or whatever that, that are from Miami, not Homestead, it's okay. I'm a swallow. No, no, no. That's yes. actually ass backwards. Oh, yeah. it's the other way around. Yeah, because she actually like the guys that she was niggas, with. I'm not swallowing your shit, nigga. I don't know you. Like oh. that's nasty. Oh, yeah. So but... Homestead only. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. No, only to you be wait. specific, only one person in Homestead. That's it. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Like, so single but looking. She's I a guess. loyal swallower. Okay. <laughs> I agree. Okay, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she swallows. Well, what, what about you, Miss Prelaw? Um. Yeah. I spit. You uh, play the fit? Oh, she spit. <laughs> <laughs> you want the boyfriend? Get, where do well, you yeah, spit? Well, yeah, it's the only, it's only. Where do you spit, though? Spit where? Where spit where? On the I mean, toe. That's a good, good I question. Run. Yeah. Where do you spit? I run to the bathroom and spit it out. You run to the oh, bathroom? Oh, you whack. Yeah, because... <laughs> <laughs> wait, what if the bathroom is all the way? Oh, if it, it's going it's to go in my... All right. Do you pre- always spit? Oh, or pre- do you went to pre-spitting out the cum. All right. All right, what about what about you, Oblaka? Yeah. Oblaka. Um, I don't know because I don't do it that. I mean, I don't, how do I explain? I don't have to do it that often because my um my 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 pee is too good. My put my I don't want to say. Okay, so, you know what okay. I'm saying? My so shit's like, you like, to... Yeah, I don't gotta like. Oh, but, so... but I I have had like one moment that it was just the moment, and I really like felt like it, and it was just like the moment. You know, it's right. funny. Like every girl yeah. says, like, uh, yo, my pussy's fire, and it's like. 
How do you know this? Is there like a committee yes. somewhere? Just that's really you know. Yeah. You know what it's about. Yeah. It's a second. Yeah. Yeah. I have the golden pussy. Second, like, so. no. Okay. Well, like, you do realize, like, just like that whole we're going to build together and make money together, they also lie about that as well. No, the pussy's fire, right? You do know, you know that. Is, if you right? go to sleep I, after no, they don't got to tell me. Fresh. I just yeah. know because yeah. it, it right? they last two seconds. <laughs> what is it, Chris? Maybe it's a Latina so accent. When she's sucking the head, when she's giving head, she's so whack that God's like, fuck it, just just fucking, I don't want to smash you. Like, your head is whack. No, no, no. Come on, man. Because they want, like, uh, they want to, like, not they, because I'm not like, oh, so many. Uh, yeah, black hat, sorry. But okay. um, okay. maybe it's a papi. Maybe it's when I say, well, <laughs> rico, if, papi. I don't but know. If, <laughs> if, if, if they're dicker, your monkey can't talk, so just. I don't okay. know. Uh, <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, maybe. Okay. Um, we got John, uh, wait, no. Mims 143. Much love from Arizona. Ladies, oh no. Joshua Ramosa, 10 bucks, says, show to fresh and fit, my entertainment, while I'm welding. Okay. All right. Uh, can we get, uh, put your shoes on outside shirt? Sure. Shout out to Big Mo, Myron Fresh, best producer, Chris and Big Mo. Thank you for everything you guys do. You guys are really making a difference in men's lives. Okay. Thanks, AJ Guerrero. Uh, Christopher FR. Fellas, good to see you. Quick question, Myron. Would you rather pay off a 23K uh, 399 apartment car loan or make payments for five years and instead invest that 23k aggressively i need to know interest rates and everything else like that bro um I'm, let's see haters are going to hate but they only have an 80 percent success rate shout out to all my kings in the studio you all are tens in my eyes girls average at best shout out to that weird anime discord that's hilarious bro, bro. He's, he's trolling guys uh fresh when is the barbados vlog coming love F and F. okay you know, I, okay so this weekend sorry no one weekend i'll fly out to barbados and do like a vlog for y'all show my family show behind the scenes because like Y'all wonder what I really do or where I came from, so I'll show you Barbados a little bit. Okay, so. Poppy to Fresh, BBC gang, we stay winning. Ayo, hey, check me out. Can I get a panel spin, Myron? That's Poppy to Fresh. Pause, uh, nigga. What? We, we're in the middle of the show, man. Maybe, maybe after. All right, Midnight Z thirty one. Looks like it's gonna be a good show. By the way, Mo Agent Fit wants to show you something after the show. BBC gang, um, we got a uh, future. Sophia, okay. come get signed to Free Bands. Who's <laughs> Sophia? You? No, yeah, me? yeah, her. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what? No, that, that's Future's label, uh, Free Bands. Um, Bet. Yeah. Uh, yeah Paco Guerrero, five bucks, says, to the females in the panel, in the great words of Roll of the Goat, who has kids? Who's watching them? <laughs> so he wants to know who has kids. On I the got panel. a kid. Okay. Who's watching I your kid? kid? I got a kid. He can't see this. No, but who's watching? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so he wants to know because our okay. friend Rolo. My mom. Yeah. Your mom? Because I'm having uh, problems with my. The baby uh, daddy, as yeah, you discussed yeah, yeah, earlier. Yeah. Okay. And you? Who's watching Mama. your kid? Okay. Yeah. Cool. The, oh, is that what Rolo asked? Yeah. Okay. He, he always right. asked, like, who's watching Okay, because it's like a three-prong question, but I didn't know if he was going to ask the other parts. Okay. Homie Clicks, for the ladies, do you think men are the biggest threat to women or men the biggest protector of women and why? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, you no. can start ready because I'm ready to say what I got to say. Hey. Yeah. I don't know if it's if it's because I feel like I'm like a man inside a woman's body, mm. but some men be Bruh. seeing me as competition. Mm -hmm. I will just be honest. When girls uh, think that I I'm going to be a thousand for uh, for you and then all the other ladies here, when girls act like guys or they're masculine or as you would say alpha, it's not attractive, ladies. It really is. It's what? a turn off. It's a big turn off, man. What's a turn off? Girls that are aggressive and act masculine and or call themselves alpha in general. But what does that, but how is that unattractive? Like, I'm not like a dyke or anything. <laughs> well, like, how is I it unattractive? You. <laughs> like, analogy, I mean, if I walked up to you in a club and I had heels and a dress and said, hey, man, it's not like I'm gay or anything. I like girls still. Like, you know, what, what would you think? I would look That's crazy, right? That's different. No, it's no. actually fairly similar. Because I don't dress like a guy. You see me dress. No, well, it's, it's not about just... that. It's not about that. It's that you have if you have a masculine attitude, it makes you less attractive versus like if I was to have a feminine attitude, you wouldn't be attracted to that, correct? Mm -hmm. What is a feminine you know, attitude? Though? If I acted like a girl, if I went, oh, my God, you're so hot. I love your shoes. Oh, you work at the post office. Oh, my God, I got to get a package. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, uh, can, like, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on some, I'm waiting on some Jimmy Choo shoes. They're, they're fantastic. What do you think? You're cool. You gay. Thank you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Stop, stop right there. I'm cool, okay? <laughs> or would you take me seriously and date me? Mm. Hell no. Yeah. Nope. Personally, okay. I don't want no hard ass nigga because they be coming a little too hard for me, too bro. Hard. Like, I need you to relax. It, it okay. Out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, here's, here's the thing. Being thirsty and masculine are two different things. Let's try to not conflate the two. Okay. But what no. I'm saying is that simply put, I don't know why women think it's okay to be masculine or call themselves an alpha or any of this other stuff. 
right? Mm-hmm. And expect men to just accept that shit. When if I was to wear a dress or heels and say, hey, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm masculine sometimes or whatever. I could be a, a man sometimes. Y'all would look at me like I'm crazy if I wore a dress and heels. Okay, and but what if you grew Listen. up with brothers? Listen, it does, no, it does make hold a on, difference. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It let's, does. let's make this very clear. I, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Like that, I can make the argument. I was, with, I grew up with all girls. I, I wear dresses every now and then. Mm-hmm. Like you wouldn't accept me. Like you would be like, what the fuck? Like it's just crazy to me how like women think it's okay to act like a dude. And I'm not saying this to pick on you or anything like that. I'm just being general. Like women think it's like I'm alpha, I'm dominant, I'm I'm a leader, I'm assertive. Listen. But the, and, and y'all say that as if it's like something to brag about. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Because like if I went around and said, yo. Uh, I could really rock this dress. I'm. I could walk in these heels, motherfucker. I look better than you. I flaunt it better than you. Y'all will look at me like I'm wild. But we let women go ahead and have masculine traits and not check them on it. But if a guy was to do that, he would get clowned on. But the thing about me is that I'm sneaky. It depends what I want to do with you. You know, if I if I really want to like get get a hold of you, I'm gonna act like, hi, how are you at first, and then after you go see. You can see my other side, right. you know Fantastic. what I'm saying? So in that case, but, I mean, we go on the first date. Hey, I'm well, gonna I'm gonna act like a dude, right? I'm gonna be like, yeah. And then, you know, after we smash the first time, you know, I might pull out a dress every now and then. Nah, but when motherfuckers <laughs> see my other side, they fuck with me even more. Cause That's like have saying. like I'll have a motherfucker laughing, like cracking his like, caca, caca. like and <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I I like I used to dance out here in Miami and it's, it's hey, I've made who <laughs> yeah, said that? Shit. <laughs> hey, listen. Yeah. Chris. Hey, I got... <laughs> listen. Uh so I, uh, from just making a motherfucker laugh, uh-huh. I've made seven bands just ka, 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 making oh, a God. sitting down next to him, not even sitting on his lap, sitting next to him, making that motherfucker laugh. He's like, You are so funny. Oh my God, here, I'm going to send you. He wanted to offer me Bitcoin back then, but then I, my dumb ass said no. But he gave me 7K. Okay, so here's the reality you, you want to know what the problem is with that, what you just said? That's not a real metric of success. Dudes tricking off on you is not a metric of success. I know I'm not saying it is. Okay, so but you're using it to try to like illustrate like, hey, my masculinity and, and acting like a guy got me this. The reality is until you have a man that you love, admire, and respect that's giving you a ring and a last name, you, you didn't you can't brag. You can't. Can I ask you a question? Well, so there, there's there's got to be tangible like markers of success. And a tangible marker of success when it comes to being a woman and dating and is getting a relationship with a man that you love, admire, and respect with a ring. Okay. Like finessing a, a, a simp out of seven thousand dollars is not a metric of success. So okay. you're saying getting married is a level of success? Okay, love, so I'm sorry, a level from, of success from a woman's perspective. Okay, well, um, from a woman's perspective, I did that. What's the next thing? Okay, you, you married the wrong guy. No, I married the right guy. Actually, he just passed. But you know, you can't control well, that's, the life. That's 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 a uh, well. You got to get out of your feelings here for a second. Okay, that's an exception. You got widowed. No, I'm saying, but like, what's next? Like you said, for a woman, like that's a level of success. Okay, so yeah, I got the bag. I got married. I did the whole nine yards. What's next? Like, hopefully, hopefully, you get another chance with a guy that can stimulate like that guy did. So, you may or may not. So you're asking if 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 I've gotten proposed matrimony? No, that's not what I said. Oh, okay. Uh, all I simply said was, let's bring it back all the way, ladies. Please pay yeah, attention. Sorry, and listen to me here. Yeah, I, I can see. Yeah, uh, it's because you're staring at the chat. Stop doing that. Okay, okay. So pay attention to what I'm telling <laughs> okay, you. Okay, okay. All I'm simply saying is that mm-hmm. there's winners. And there's losers. Okay. Mm-hmm. You mentioned, hey, I'm aggressive and I'm an alpha female. You're doing it again. Staring mm-hmm. at the screen. <laughs> pay attention, bro. <laughs> like this is my uh, here's the thing, guys. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pay attention. You know what? This is for the chat for y'all to learn. This is this is this is talking to modern day girls, okay, that are that are oh. somewhat attractive. They they do this. They'll just ignore, I don't give a fuck, nigga. People are hitting me up anyway, but it's fine. I'll I'll just say this. Maybe the girls here want to hear this. I'm being honest with y'all. A thousand that men are never gonna tell you this shit. Mm-hmm. You win when you get a ring from a man that you love, admire, and respect, and you get commitment from that man. Finessing a dude out of money, uh, you know, having simps in your DMs, having dudes that have blue checks or whatever, courting you or hanging out with you or taking you out on dates or flying you out is not a metric of success because any guy could really do that. It's fairly low investment in the grand scheme of things. Right. Okay? And shit's get boring. Exactly. That's like me. If I went around and I said, yo, I got a bunch of chicks that I hang out with. They all friends on me, though, and I might have got my dick sucked once by one of them. Mm-hmm. Could I brag about that? No. I like a clown. Thank you. Can Thank you. you Thank you. Because I didn't have to work to sip on these girls. Same thing with y'all. You don't have to work to get guys to give you attention and resources or whatever. Because guys Until you get a guy to commit person. to you, you didn't win. That, that's that's just the unfortunate reality. Just that no one wants to call women losers. And I'm not calling y'all losers. You guys are still young and have time ahead of you. But something that you should think about is like being masculine, acting like a dude does not make you more attractive. And you don't win until you're with a guy that is masculine that you actually admire and respect. Mm-hmm. 
can I ask That's you a question? Facts. Yeah. So would y'all rather be with a girl who has no sense of humor exactly. whatsoever? She just submissive and pretty. Or would you rather be with a girl who has her own personality? Yeah, she might be a little masculine, but it's not, you feel me, not to the full depth of being yeah. like, see, I'm not trying to be fucked see, up. Here's the all or nothing argument. Yeah, 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 it's the all, all or nothing it's argument. Extremes. But I'll tell you this. To, just, to, just to like answer your question, number one. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not here to be like entertained by my girl. I mean, we're here to vibe, have a great time. But like, for you to make me laugh, that'd be cool. But you don't have to, mm-hmm. you know? Because I didn't think if you could raise but kids, but that's not boring to you to be with a girl they with like no personality. Bitches. But what would Men, what are you Men wife doing? up boring girls. Why? Like then I don't want to be like, somebody who's wife. Like, for example, right? If you notice on on the panel, it's a big contrast between her and her. If a guy was to see how they both act, probably gonna choose her, keeping mm-hmm. a buck. But but they'll definitely fuck her. Make sense? Mm-hmm. But so. why do you guys find girls like this more work when it's just they just have a personality? Why do you guys like get? Feel some type of way about a girl having a personality. That's what it feels it, like. It's simple. Uh, let's go back to the example I gave you before. If I wear heels on Saturdays, but I act like a dude other days, you would not take me serious. You'd be like, yo, what the fuck? Is this guy a dude or, or, or a chick? Personally, if you wanted to wear a dress, boy, go ahead and do that. I'm going to still suck your dick. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Wow, well, good. fantastic. That's you. Yeah. But most, uh, look at the not table. Me. Most <laughs> girls are not going to accept a guy that's conditionally masculine. Okay, I, feel you. I have to be masculine at all times. But why is it that we let women be conditionally feminine? They can pick and choose when they want to act like a girl, right? They act mm-hmm. like a girl sometimes, and then they act like a guy sometimes. I'm saying that's crazy because if I was to be conditionally masculine mm-hmm. and feminine sometimes, y'all would not tolerate that. You would mm-hmm. break up with me immediately. Mm-hmm. So why is it when a guy says, well, we don't like masculine chicks like that. Oh, you can't handle this, blah, blah, blah. By that logic, well, then what? Are you guys jealous because I could wear the heels better than you? You fucking lose your ass, bitch. No, but we don't say that to women ever because it was so crazy, that argument. But yeah. we let women get away with it all the time. Like, she can be masculine and I'm supposed to just accept that and shit. Also, think, just, right. just so you know, personality does not equal masculinity. I think with girls that are yeah. super uh, into their personality, they're very cool, calm, mm-hmm. but they're not masculine. They're just like, say funny shit. And no, that's like, what oh. I mean because I'm I think he's saying that alpha is the same as masculine that's no, the same you can't yeah. use alpha Pre- pretty much as yeah. a female without them taking it as masculine I'm not oh, but masculine. because I th- yeah. maybe it's because I don't because I know more Spanish but I don't yeah. know if, to me I feel like alpha is 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 say not, dominant maybe yeah dominant the, maybe not I don't know or yeah. boss that's still not attractive well, I feel like that's alpha is like boss no. Yeah, it's it's still Basically. not. It's, uh, ladies, I don't make the rules. I just report them. Like you want a guy that's masculine, we want women that are feminine. And unfortunately, being a boss comes with masculine traits a lot of the time, and guys don't like it. You they can know, sit there and say, true. "I still get attention from men, even though I act like this," but that doesn't matter. Getting attention from men is a dime a dozen. That doesn't mean shit. Can you get attention from a man that you actually like, admire, and respect, and want a relationship with him? That's the key. And I'm here to tell y'all, a guy that's actually assertive and dominant that makes his own money, that's successful. The guys that you guys are chasing. They're not going to tolerate this. I'm a boss bitch bullshit. No, nah, no. Nah, but, but if it's that case, you I'll even switch it up. yourself. You hung out with billionaires, right? And they're just like, they even told you like, uh, this yeah, but shit, if I got to switch it up, I'll switch it up. Shit. No, no. You said mm. if you have to, but you shown in the past, you said earlier, F1, you didn't want to switch it up. In order to be married, exactly. like you got to cut that masculinity shit out. Yeah. You dead ass do. I just have to. Said that. Like you really yeah, do. Because no, in, order, yeah, he, in order to did. get the ring, in order to get like, you got to understand for a guy, they feel like their last name is everything. So it's like in order to get his last name, it's not saying you have to pour yourself to the side. No, you can still have get your nails done, toes done. You can still be you, but trying to be like, oh, I'm the boss. No, bitch, he's the boss. Like that's his last name. Yeah, you he's the one giving you the ring. Name, and the attitude, true. who you're gonna attract? You admit it yourself. It attracts bums. Mm-hmm. You want to know why it attracts bums? It attracts bums because bums, bums are si- willing to sit there yep. and allow you to dominate them, etc. And here's the problem: women are not attracted to that shit. Y'all could say I'm a boss, bitch, all the other shit. We know social constructs don't adhere to reality. Women say one thing, but they're actually attracted and aroused to other things. They'll say, oh, I want a guy that will let me be a boss and dominant, whatever. You meet that nigga, um, you're going to laugh at him. This and- dude's a bitch. But you might say, <laughs> I don't want a guy that's controlling all this other shit that's assertive and too dominant. But the reality is Fifty Shades of Grey is the most read book between women. So you guys say one thing, but you're actually attracted and aroused that, to another. Because we need it. And shout out to City Girls because they give you all these songs and all that stuff. But like behind the scenes, they be doing stuff that's like, they be lying to y'all. Yeah. Come for Cardi B. I'm the same. I'm not going to so, lie. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's literally me. Because, so, yeah, like my like my personality and stuff. Is... Contradiction. 
Well, maybe I'm just bipolar. Yeah. So, <laughs> but you want a girl got that's completely dependent on you? So, we never said that. No, I'm not trying to put that in your mouth. I'm just um, asking. Well, here's the thing it's because she's video. attributing a woman being submissive as weak and not having a personality and everything. That's like the yeah. negative connotation that comes with submission is that you, and they mm. automatically, a lot of modern day women I've realized in the West in general assume that. Because a girl's submissive, it means she's weak, she's stupid, she's feeble, she doesn't have a personality. No, it's not saying that. It's just understanding that there is a hierarchy. Men lead, women follow. That doesn't mean that you can't be yourself. But you got to understand who the leader is, who the pilot of the plane is. You can't right. be sitting there trying to, you know, back, back, uh, backseat drive. It doesn't operate that way. All right. Exactly. We we'll got some chats here real quick, and then we'll, we'll okay. do the video. So, right, cool. uh, Chris, bring it up real quick. Anybody have anything before we move to the chats and video? Personally, I make sure. um, just speaking uh, so from like just... experience on like how to when you get that man how to keep that man you don't need to be all all bark 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 like sometimes you mm. gotta sit down and just bite like because in all honesty when you get married to someone you're stuck with them like even if they die mm -hmm. you're still stuck with them mm -hmm. so you need to understand that person ins outs ups downs and it takes a lot of time for you to put your pride to the side to be like oh shit okay all right it yeah. maybe it was just me or maybe it was, you know, a miscommunication. That's a lot of things that happen in relationships that people don't want to bring up. There are miscommunications. Mm -hmm. So it's like in your in the beginning of a relationship, a guy knows how you act clearly because that's what brought him to you. Mm -hmm. But if he sees that you're more than willing to change and meet him at least halfway mm -hmm. and you guys can meet each other halfway, that shit can work. It's right. just you got to cut all that rah-rah shit out. It's not going to work. You can be, you can still have your personality and be submissive at the same time. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I yeah. agree with her, but yeah. I agree with her if I'm married. I do agree with her mm -hmm. because the Bible does say that you should be submissive to your husband. But I be but feel like, like I have, have to do husband. that in order to get him yeah. to Thank be you. your husband. I feel like a lot of men, like, though, be pushing mm -hmm. that without even being married to me. See, no. that, that's but true. To me. That's true. Can I say you need to put yeah. a ring on my finger before you try to treat me like a well, wife. guess what? The boss there's girl no want to say something. Yeah, there's no <laughs> ring. Like, I put on a ring? I don't want you. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what you said? I don't Why would I wife you if you're not a wife before I wife you? Right. Like, that makes no sense. How you want me to act like a wife before giving me a ring? Think about it. I'm giving you my last name and a family, right? Exactly. If you're not wife material, why the hell would I wife you? I'll fuck you, string you along for years. I'll never right. wife you. Mm -hmm. right. why, why would I? Right. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Right. So, all right. Here's some chats here. Real, real quick. Yeah. Let's say you went to that interview with the postal uh, office, right? Oh, here we go. <laughs> and you went in there and you had some shorts on, you know what I'm saying? And you were wearing a, a low cleavage tank top or whatever. Right. And you just were being yourself. Would they give you the job? No. Okay. <laughs> You had to present yourself in a certain way to be able to get the job. You had to be a presentable candidate, correct? Yeah, right. Unfortunately, ladies, when you're trying to get a guy and get locked down, you're applying for a job, which is exactly. the wife. Oh, you right. have to audition properly and put yourself in a position to get hired by that man. Because best believe, if he's actually attractive, there's a bunch of fucking applicants. And we don't want people that are assigned, attributed to our corporation, a.k.a. that last name, that are bad employees and making us look stupid. Because you are a rep uh, representation of us. When right. Guys, do, do us a favor as well. We need a couple more subs to hit 700k. We're almost there, guys. Sub to the channel. Real Sub quick. to the channel. A lot of our ninja watchers. All right. Uh, okay, I'll read these real quick. H, what up, boys? FNF, baby. After hours, uh, Chris, what, what are we doing from here? Uh, 20 up. 20 up. 20 up from this point forward? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to run through these guys. Uh, okay, answer to a question from the early. Actually, I'll read these five ones that yep. came. These came up before, right? Yep. Okay, H, what up, boys? FNF, baby. After hours, you're going to give us some content for what sisters? Let's go. Okay, and that's from H. Uh, K Dre, ATL. Look at this picture, melanin. Okay. Uh, five bucks from Rent. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, no, okay. no, 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 you're fine. Uh, Camino kill Big Mo. Can we get uh, out of here for Miss Clout? Out of there, she what? is out of there. <laughs> All right, uh, Elijah Tickboard. <laughs> answer to a question from the earlier show equal best uh, ep to share to ease a friend into the F, uh, RP slash FNF content PVD podcast episode 136. Much respect from Down Under. Okay, that was a good show. Shout out to them. That was a real interview because they were there to actually have a discussion. Versus like when these losers over at Jackie O or whatever brought us on. I know that they just want to try to get a rise, which they didn't. They were the ones that, you know, rage quit and had, were emotional. But it is what it is. Uh, Bradley, yo, Kiki, when you bring in Violet M to the pod? I already talked to her. She says she's down. She's flying in June and July. Okay, cool. Uh, right, first right, BBC, right, right, right. hold on. Stop the show, Kiki. You're going to have to wait. Sophia, is it cancel your plans because you definitely got what I need? You look mad familiar too fresh. Don't we have an experience with girls that make that with baby daddy issues? Make a move. You're funny, bro. Okay. What that mean? Uh, his mm -hmm. his dick is um is right now saying that he wants to get with you. 
okay. In, in the chat. Uh, <laughs> Samuel Sanchez, Sanchez, Sanchez Jr. I don't know who that is. New Pouts is hippie town. Yonkers is garbage. And the only thing it has going for it is being kind of close to the city. You have anything you want to say oh, back shit. to him talking shit about your hood? No. All right. Fantastic. Let's not talk about New hey, York. Hey, somebody talk about my hood. <laughs> a blocker? A blocker? Um, um, I'm a motherfucking city girl. All right. <laughs> All right. I already know, man. Yves Simonis, make no mistake, this is the official rating for tonight's episode from SD on down. Eight. Wait, uh, is that from this side or the other side? SD uh, on down? SD yeah. is All right. SD. Okay, so he's, they're giving you an eight, four, six, seven, seven, four, zero, Seven. Hey, I don't got your makeup picture, on. My guy, let what me see your picture. Pull it up. Oh my God. Right. I don't got makeup on. Uh, he has braids, bonus. probably. I don't know. Okay. Uh, last thought. City girls got the fishy fishy. <laughs> you try to say how pussy stink. Anybody want to say what anything? The oh, come here and smell it. Okay. <laughs> SP. I know majority of girls won't give it up. Uh, won't give up their IG for their ideal man. Ladies, if you like, if you're like that, would you accept keeping your IG but have to delete and unfollow every man that's not family and edit your Ooh, privacy settings? Please, I would not this. delete please. my IG for nobody. I please. don't care. Can I speak on this one? Can I, I, I'm going to speak on this. Sorry, like really. All right, go ahead, real fast. Um, I did that shit to like keep my marriage. I dead ass. I he was like unfollow the motherfuckers. I said no. He went through and unfollowed all of the motherfuckers. Sure. He was like, I don't like this picture. I don't like that picture. I said no. He went through and was like. I don't like that picture. I don't like that picture. And I was like, okay, in return, you got to start taking my pictures for me then. So you got to show me what you like. Like, if a person's trying to put down on you, give them an alternative. Like, just be like, oh, okay, cool. If you don't like that picture, then show me what you like. Like, I, I'm not going to delete my shit for you, no. But show me what you like and maybe we can work with it. He's okay. a nice guy. I mean, I, I would have... I mean... <laughs> I mean, he's very respectable. Yeah. So... I, I think so a girl... if. if, if if a girl has sexy pictures of herself on Instagram and she's in a relationship with a guy, like a long-term relationship, it, it's fucking, it's uh, it's disrespectful. It's cheating, bro. It's not it is cheating. cheating. You don't feel it like is. the guy's insecure? What if she's a Victoria's Secret model? Yeah. Mm. All these extremes, man. Yeah. I, I, okay, okay, bet. I'll many, take it what? down to the normal. What if your girl is just a bad bitch? She got a fat ass, she got big ass titties. What or, about it? Or what if she's just a Victoria's Secret model? Okay, they said that's an extreme though. Okay, but let's how many, just say how many girls actually have a turret? That's something that's here. extreme as fuck. Okay, let's just use your girl got big ass titties and she got a fat let's ass. Let's get the what consensus. If you're in a serious relationship with a guy, do you think it's appropriate to maintain sexy pictures of yourself on Instagram and social media in general? Uh, do you th uh, we'll go around. Yes or no? Is it cheating? Uh, is it to maintain cheating? that. You're in a serious relationship with your guy. Is that appropriate and or cheating? I think it's appropriate because it's before, before you met that person. But now you're in a relationship with him. It, no, like I'm not going to delete it. You know, okay. okay. Personally, I feel like no, because I feel like at the end of the day, if I'm with you, I'm going to establish that I'm with you. I'm not talking to other guys. If I'm okay. not replying to them or liking their shit, you should not care sure. about what I post because I feel like you're going to come off as insecure and jealous to me. Okay. Okay. What about you? What are your thoughts on I that? I have a question, though. Are they liking like other girls' sexy pictures and like entertaining other girls' sexy pictures? Too, and like following so yeah. 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 the purposes yeah. of the of the of this car because I I see what you're trying to yeah. do here, but I want to make sure that we get like Straight let's let's point. assume no, but yes, would you would you uh assuming no? I mean, you have it's complicated. I feel like it's scary how you guys are answering right now. We're you kind of have to take their what their opinion is into consideration if you're dating them. Okay. I mean, so you're opinion. saying take it into consideration. Yes. I'm not saying delete your Instagram, delete okay. all your pictures, but you do have to respect what they say. Okay. So consider it. What, what about you? Yes, I would definitely consider it, but no. Okay. If I'm getting paid for this, no. Exactly. Exactly. So for a woman who's not in my position, yeah, yeah I think it would be wrong. But knowing what I do for a living and you came into the relationship like this, you mm -hmm. have no room to talk. And what I do for a living is already not. Let's for the assume week. majority of women, because let's keep it a thousand. Most girls make zero money from Instagram. Zero. Like 95 percent plus don't make any money from Instagram. So let's assume a regular girl that doesn't make a living on Instagram. Not necessarily because me, I'm an entrepreneur, so I make money. Every not, time not, not you. I'm talking about oh, okay. I'm talking about women in general. The other ones. Oh, OK, well, it will be unfair to them. They need to deal it. Like deal with that with their partner okay so what about and you what about you kiki i i get it from your perspective because it's a big part of your business but let's assume no if they no if, no it's not right okay. i said that yeah. so it's it, it is cheating in your eyes yeah, or of course. inappropriate what about you personally well, you kind of acquiesced with you. i mean like like i told him like i i told him straight up i said hey look these pictures brought you here 
these pictures about everybody else here. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, real, real. Okay, keep these it real. Pic- All right. Right. Yeah, cool. These pictures, you it's know. Not, I know you said no, it's not cheating, it's right? Not cheating. Okay. What about you? It depends. What's like sexy? Like a girl in a bikini by the pool? Doing the, you know what I'm talking about. You know, like, taking pictures on top of sinks and all this other. You know, my like, girl. Like ass, like yeah. ass shaking and like, shit. It, like, yeah, okay, that's sexy different. pictures of themselves that's arousing ph- photographs. If I was, if I don't do it for a living and I'm not getting paid to do it, like, yeah, I, I don't be po- like when I was with my with my baby daddy. Now like, you, I'm talking about in general. When I was general. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, no, I'm just so it. It, it seems to me like most of the girls here said they'd either take it into consideration or no. Okay, are you comfortable with the fact then that he's not gonna wife you? Spin it back. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Are you okay with the fact that if you leave those pictures up, he's probably yes. just not gonna wife you, mm-hmm. yes. and he's never gonna say a word oh, about it? So he's gonna judge that. I'm, I'm not gonna do it if I'm trying to get wife. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So you will change. All right. What about you? Exactly. Are you okay with him not wife? Because you can you accept the fact that he's probably not gonna wife you if you do that? Yes, because okay, I'm just doing it for me. Okay. At this point. Okay. Fuck his feelings. <laughs> what about you? Well, no, you already kind of answered this already because you did change. Yeah. Kiki, are what you? Was the question? Well, no, you actually for you it's because you uh, you said it's it's inappropriate for you. Were you okay not getting wife then? I'm I'm definitely you peace okay. with that. Yes. Okay. What about yeah, you? She I got would... her own money. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be posting those pictures if I was trying to get wife. Exactly. Like, oh. like, if it's different if you're trying oh, to get wife. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Like, that's the question, ladies. That's, that's, that's the question. Like, well, who it's... really trying to get wife from Instagram? <laughs> No, not, it's not about that. It's about him. Let's say he meets you at a coffee shop. It, mm-hmm. It's about. It's about you. Are you going to keep that stuff up I'm if you so want a serious relationship? That you know, if you meet me at the day, you will see me with a turtleneck, glasses, business okay, professional, okay. and then when you see me out, I'm I'm dressed different. So okay, it just depends. what about so for you? You would change then. So you're changing your story. It's amazing how no, when no, they don't no, get I, commitment. No, no, now, no. I said I would consider it, but if other people like want to. Not like, wait, what, what I just feel like for that man, that girl's gonna change. I, I feel like it. De- I feel like it all depends on what you're posting on your Instagram. If you're talking about like my nipples, you're, saying, sure. you're, you're saying for you, for example, you said you're not gonna take it down, you're not gonna change. Are you okay Me? with not getting wife then? No, her. Oh, Ms. okay, Post, but Post. what I'm saying is, I get please if, answer the question. I will answer the question, <laughs> but my thing is, like, if I'm posting my like full ass and titties, okay, that's different. But if I'm just posting a picture at the pool, you feel me? That's different. You like, I don't I'm feel not, you. Every girl so you feel like bikini. you feel like if a girl's at a uh, posting a bikini pic- picture with her girls, that's inappropriate. No. Well, the honestly, is, are, that are, depends are, on some skinny or thick. All I'm saying is that. You can fact, have... All right, I'll answer your question. Hell yeah, I'm okay with not being wife. My nigga, go de- go date okay. a bitch that's not right. a real bitch. Cool. That's real right. Okay. <laughs> what about you? What about you? Are, you? are you okay with dealing with the consequences of that? I'll deal with the consequences because okay. they're gonna be someone else who's gonna. So I want to that was really the main thing I wanted to get. Just after this, right? You know, a picture doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't. You know, it doesn't. You know what it is? It's the behavior behind it. Yeah. And what exactly. happens as a reaction. Exactly. So mm-hmm. it could be anything. It could be you going to girls night yourself. It could be you traveling with girls. You doing ratchet shit. The point is, niggas ain't going to wife you up. He just saying, for example, that simple task of him saying, hey, you know what? I'm not really into that. I want to be with you, but I don't want other niggas hanging you up from these pictures. That's what you're saying here. So that's scary that you, y'all responding that so way. I, I got a real quick question because I just wanted to get to get a temperature on the room here, figure out what it is. So it, it seems to me overwhelmingly that women are not going to concede and give their Instagrams up for a guy, right? Um, and then even if there's like a potential relationship on the on the table, they're like, ah, I don't know. You got to accept me the way I came. Fantastic. Great. How about this, ladies? Let's go into a dream world real quick. <laughs> here we go. What's your dream car? My dream car. Yes. I have no idea. Porsche, Ferrari. I want a Tesla. Okay. Tesla. What about you? Tesla. You simple. Damn, a drop top. Um, I don't know anything with the drop top. I love drop tops. Okay. What about you? Porsche. Okay. Two wagon. Kiki. Um, any I don't know anything <laughs> fast money. I don't know. Lamborghini. <laughs> a Lamborghini Urus, a customized Rolls Gold. Okay. Okay. I Seems. like it. I really don't know. Yet. You don't have a dream car? All of them. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So Pick the one. AMG, I like the the new parts that came out with the right rims, the Thai. ¿Cómo es que se llama? What's it called? The new one that came out with the right white rims fast. Okay, so you anything, know exactly what you want. Fantastic. Anything fast and all of them. All right, cool. I want all of them. So let's say one day, right? You go into your car dealership, whether it's Tesla, Porsche, Lamborghini, mm-hmm. whatever it is, right? And you see your dream car there, right? Mm-hmm. It's there, and you're like, holy shit, it's fucking there. I've been waiting forever to get this goddamn car. Mm-hmm. All right, and it's just like shining in the light, like. <laughs> and um and you go you meet with the dealer and the dealer is like okay it's gonna cost you 
X, Y, Z. For some of you, it's going to be 100. For some of you, it's going to be 300,000. Some of you, it's going to be 250,000, whatever it may be. But it's going to be a significant amount of money. And you've been saving up this goddamn money to buy this car. It's your mm-hmm. dream car. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay. You do the deal, run your credit, purchase the car, drive it off the lot. Okay. Okay. Two weeks later, fast forward, right? Two weeks later. The guy that sold you the car shows up at your house and tells you, hey, listen, bro, we're kind of short stock on this car. We're going to need to put it on the showroom two times per week and keep a for sale sign on it. How would that make you feel? Start here. Damn, that's their car, bro. Y'all okay. finna sell it? <laughs> okay. That, okay, so you're, okay. Yep. How does that make you feel? Um, make me feel sad. Okay. I just want to know, like, are you, are we chopping down payments? Like, <laughs> did I pay for it cash? What we doing? Like, okay. if, if you're showing off my hard work, I'm going to need a, a portion of a my hard of work paid. Yeah. Come here, check. I am paying shit for it, and it's rolling advertisement for when I do drive it. Okay. Compensation, period. Okay, so you need some compensation for it. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? <laughs> what was the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you are not in a different universe. <laughs> God damn. Bro, are you even on this podcast? <laughs> I am. I just literally forgot. I didn't hear the question. I said, so the, the dealer comes back mm-hmm. two weeks later after you purchase your dream car, sign the documents forever you, you for it, you have it, and they tell you, I want, we need to put it on the showroom two times per week and put a for sale sign on it. How's that going to make you feel after you just purchased the vehicle and you saved your money up and bought it? No, I wouldn't be okay with that. Okay, why yeah. not? Why would, if you bought the car, why would they put it for, what? Okay, I'm all right. that cool. I don't know. What about you, Miss uh, Post Office? <laughs> I hate this comparison. Oh, I know. <laughs> but go ahead. But personally, How'd that make you feel? Personally, I would not care. You wouldn't care? You would let if the car go people back? people is not going in it, I do not care. Show it off. I don't but care. That's oh, no, 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 no. They're no, going in it. Purpose. It's just yeah. driving the car, skidding in it, doing burnouts, and they say, oh, I want this car no more. That would not happen in real life. That's yes, all I'm does. telling you. Nick, it happens let every me... single day. Somebody, Can I... somebody buys a car and they take that car and show it off? Yes, that's it's exactly what purchasing a car for showing for own means. returns. Just so you know. Yeah. Wait, yeah. And, and, and you're looking too much into the into the details. The, the, the details. The point is, how would that make you feel, simply put? What would be your response when that Personally. fucking guy shows up at your house and says, yo, I need a for sale sign on it and we need to put it on showroom? <laughs> Don't cap neither. What's your response? I'm Mac. not even capping. I really Mac would fan. not care. Don't cap. You want to care? Would... All right, so you let the car go back. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, go cool. ahead. Fantastic. But they'll okay. give me my money back? No. <laughs> no. That should be no, happening be for real? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> No, I would be upset because if you worked hard and you're not getting back that money, like, why? You t- like, no, like, that's just all right. like, really messed up. Cool. That's exactly how men feel when you prayed your body all over the Internet. Bam. When yeah. they're supposed to be when we're supposed to be in a serious relationship. Gotcha. That same gotcha, level. Bitch. That's What's like because because ladies, whether you want to accept it or not, men are territorial with women. I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, my God, we're not a fucking car. I get it. You're I not a car. You. But it's so you guys can understand the pain, the same but sense of betrayal anger and resentment because you purchased the vehicle you thought it was yours now all of a sudden it's got to be in a showroom for other people to test drive and look at that's how <laughs> men feel about their girl why the fuck did i pay full price for a vehicle that everyone else is going to have access to for free but why am i true, why man. am i marrying you and taking you seriously giving you all the security giving myself away to you my resources my time everything else to a woman that can't even respect a very simple boundary i had to bust my ass to become attractive like this you have to bust your ass to save that money to purchase the car mm. Why should I have to bust my ass to become the man that I am today for you to parade around your goodies, which is what uh, when you attracted me in the first place and I'm here. Okay. What I'm saying is this. Yes, I get it. You bought me like this, right? Or you you dated me and I had this shit going on, but you got to take the for sale sign off your neck after you get a guy. That's all I'm saying. That's what most men want. Okay. But the way you're explaining it is making it seem like women are an object. Are women <laughs> an object? Wow. Uh, are you a scorpio? Can I say it like in all actuality? In order to get that last name, bitch, you are like. In order to be like, oh yeah, I'm bringing you home to my mom, my my brother, my this, my that. Like, you're not an object, no. But no one's gonna put time and money and effort in some shit that they don't want. Like he said with the car, I'm not gonna bust my ass to pay off a car for you to take it back. Okay, so then he needs to say how it really is. You have to be okay with being an object, or you're not okay with being an object. Mm-hmm. That's just the reality. It, it's not it's that. Not Here's the problem. You're, you're you're you're. The reason why I said that analogy. Maybe a little too literal. Yeah, she's taking yeah. way too literally. Yeah. The, the the analogy, guys, isn't for the purposes of uh, of like being objectified as a car. It's so that you guys can feel the pain that men feel, right? When you want to go ahead and parade your body around Instagram thinking it's okay. It's just that they're not going to say anything to y'all because they get excuses like that. Oh, are we objects? Oh, my God, you're controlling. So most guys, you know what they're going to do? Okay, 
this girl does this type of behavior, I'm just not going to wife her. Sex only. That's it. So basically, just like you, my friends own a guy. This guy's not attractive. I'm not going to never going to fuck him. Same thing with the guy. I'm never going to wife her. She's fuck only zoned. You've been sex zoned only. Right. That's how men operate. The difference is this between <laughs> men and women. We just don't tell you guys that shit. But if you do stupid activities, we're just not going to take you serious. Hold on. I'm curious. So, no, Real quick. That's it. Who in here thinks off their Instagram, somebody would wipe them up right now? Yo, bring up her Instagram real quick. Oh, uh, real who? quick. Me, I mean, it depends. Oh, what she she got on it. I know y'all gonna talk shit. I don't give a fuck. So we're gonna t- ask the chat if they'll wipe you up oh, shit. from your current they Instagram is not, profile. Because my ass so, is on my Instagram. Chris, bring it up real quick. And I shout to uh, OKC wow. for uh, you know for the, for the so, yeah, yeah, flag deal. Before before we before pull, we pull up. up this Instagram, do, do you guys at least understand the concept? You don't yeah. have to look at it we from a little sense of media. Yeah, I know. And I get what you're saying is a perfect example because it's literally just me by the pool in my bathing suit sitting normal and I look cute. I don't look like sexual. Okay, so let me tell you something. Okay, so yeah. no, let me tell you something. I honestly feel like that depends because if a female is thick, it's different. But yeah. if it's a female that's skinny, okay. and I'm not I'm not I'm not fat shame or I'm not, you know, body I'm shaming. just saying that is true. <laughs> when a female is skinny, it's different. But when that is yes, yeah, when, when you got juicy got, ass, and, oh no, you gotta hide like, it. Like you could just be standing and up straight from the front. You're gonna see that from that the back. From birth. My ass me? don't even show I'm sitting down. So <laughs> oh well that okay so for the bitches ass that does show when they sit down you get me at the end oh, of the day they're still Classified as well, oh, yeah, my hips thought, short, there really. it is. No, not your hips, baby. You're behind. Like they can see it from the front, they can see it from the back, they can see it from all angles. Like you're still classified as a whole. You get oh, me okay. for me. I, I still got I just switched up my content. Okay, cool. You don't need to see me in lingerie, you don't see me in bathing suits, but I'm still gonna get paid off this app, or I'm still gonna get paid off my brands. So fine, I'll just switch up my content. I'll post dresses. I'll yeah, post- I mean, ladies, we're not telling you to change, we're not telling you what to do. We're just simply telling you guys how men are gonna react to certain types of mm-hmm. behaviors. That's it. What Y'all could do what, what you want to do. Mm-hmm. But that's like, like right now, what you're trying to say, like, oh, well, are we objectified or whatever? Men don't care. Of Like, men don't complain about female standards. No one's running around saying, like, fuck, man. These bitches all want a nigga that makes $100,000 a year and six feet tall. This is fucking stupid. They might complain about it, but they accept the reality. They oh, get it. Right. They accept right. it. Okay. But so women right. don't want to accept reality that, yo, there's certain types of behaviors that are going to disqualify you from certain types of benefits as a woman. Right, so me, you're, just, uh, so you're a got, whole we, angel, right? So we got her Instagram. Okay. Oh, it up. oh shit. Mm. So, I look go. like a chat. <laughs> so, so chat. <laughs> oh, Would shit. you wife her up? That's not her Instagram. Oh, yeah. It is. It is. That's not hers. Wait, what the? It is. That's yours? Yours? Yes, it is. Uh huh. No. Is. What? <laughs> Well, <laughs> you look cute, girl. Exactly. Oh, I don't have like too much of a thought. I, I'm I'm chilling. Can a little I be bit. very honest with Who's you? Wait, like just... I was very thrown off by your Instagram oh. by the first couple of pictures because you kind of look like a kid. Oh wow, well. <laughs> you look like a child. What like, the fuck I get that is a lot. this? <laughs> Let me see your Instagram. Pull up your Instagram. You look like 14. Oh, my shit fire, nigga. The fuck? I like those pictures. All right. What so... about me? Okay. All right. So, so the chat's going to do a poll. <laughs> we got, got, got 8,000 plus people in here. Uh, 8,200. All right. So. Who would have the child? Yeah. Oh, I do you want to Yo, yo, yo. yo, yo. <laughs> you know that song? Oh, no, what the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You're holy angel. That's what the fuck it is. Okay. Shout out to you, though. But chat niggas, you tell us if you would, if your wife or not. And then let's do her as well. No, okay. who? Uh, Miss Opalaka. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's saying that. That shit don't matter. Oh, she by, by the beach, whatever, chilling. So let's see. So, Sova so Savage. Damn, the they tomato, gave me tomato, tomato, tomato. tomato. <laughs> that one. The last one. The last one. Up, up, go up. Oh, oh the last one. Okay. Okay. So, chat, would you wife her up? On these images. No one. Here. It's cute. It's normal. Where are your clothes? That's not woman? bad. That's not Dude, a that's bad, bad. bad. She's not showing her ass. There, look. That's she cute. Good. That's not bad. I mean, wait, See? so who's whose car is this? Teacher, baby. Huh? Is, it, is that a Lambo? That's my my business partner's car. Oh, a business partner's car? That is a Lambo. That's a, a Lambo truck, right? Yeah. yeah. Yours. So would are guys okay. okay with posting their abs and shit then at the gym? Shh. Shh. We talked about this already. Yeah, we did. You, uh, so, uh, just so you know, we had actually a professional bodybuilder yeah, on the show. That's a cute mm-hmm. one right there. I like that. That's cute. Um, what, what was I like oh, that. Looking I wanted to, him to see. 
You want me to look at it? Yeah, so you can have like your opinion because it's not that bad. It's oh, not like nigga said no. Nope. Hell no. Right. <laughs> Let me look at it real quick. No, Sorry, no not that one. Not that yeah, one. Nigga, the last one. Nigga said tomatoes. The second one. The second. Tomatoes. One. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. All right. Go, you see, uh, it's go normal. Ahead. It's, Chris, I'm at the pool. Normal. So, yeah. like, so I, I'll be a thousand with you. I'd hit you up strictly for sex. I would not like out uh, and and uh, you know I would hit you up first on that prep. I mean that's why guys hit girls up anyway in the first place. But yeah, I would hit you up strictly like okay, I'm gonna try to smash. And then it will be upon you to prove to me that you're worthy of of being being uh you know taken seriously. So do y'all want ins- girls with Instagram with nothing on the Instagram? Because I don't understand. Because her her Instagram compared to mine, mine was bad. Okay, but I think hers was nice. Listen, man. Looking okay. at that Instagram, she belongs to the screen. Oh, yeah. Both y'all Instagrams show that you guys are like, but guys, are, remember, I don't know you at this point. Let's assume I'm just looking at your Instagram and I'm going off of that. I'm gonna assume both from both y'all things, you guys are for the streets, and I'm gonna try to smash. And then if I hang out with you and you prove otherwise, that's one thing. Oh, but okay. your profiles alone, I'm going to assume like, all right, these girls are on some shit. It is what it is. They're probably for the streets. And then it's upon you to prove yourself. That's really what it comes down to. But again, does this give me like, oh, this girl's going to be the uh, mother of my children? Hell fucking no. You don't give that vibe off. You don't. And that's what guys look for when they're going to wife a chick up. Is this woman going to be a good mother to my children, bro? That's the reality. So the question is, which post do you think is acceptable? I Why mean, are you caring about their opinions though? Because they because men are being because because for once guys are being honest, telling her what it is. Yeah, yeah because I mean, because I want to get into their mind, I want to know. Like, yeah, so we're telling when, you cause, yeah. cause because because most guys never gonna tell you this shit. Because he's saying to not be masculine, but then to not be, you know. So then I want to know. So yeah. what is okay? I mean, so in so your none, opinion, yeah, I want to yeah. know what your okay I'm exactly. Right. Opinion. Your yours isn't that bad, but still, some of those are kind of like eh. So I, mine was really that bad. So which one is acceptable? No, yours is like some. Demonic shit. It's borderline to satanic. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Oh are you like, apartment? That's, that's crazy. But, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm sure. Sure. We'll, 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 we'll move on from here though because we got a video to play. Oh, yeah. Um, so much. But, but uh, there was there was one other thing I was gonna say as far as the. Instagram goes, damn it. Okay, read the chats real quick, fresh. AR1 Rex, you guys are amazing. Keep it the Gilbert. Thank you, bro. Uh, the master itself, Twin Bug says, Do y'all find lip fillers attractive? Kardashians got three or four looking like Daffy Duck, more PSI than tires. <laughs> what the fuck? He ain't never had his dick sucked with lip fillers. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, that, that shit does feel way better. Hey, honestly, exactly. I love sucking Period. dick with my lips. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia S, my room be looking like Sid from the Ice Age. Yes, Sid. Damn. <laughs> uh, I already see it. Raw Torres, twenty bucks says, "Fellas, pu on some bucket hats and fisherman outfits because I bet it smell like Boston Armor Harbor on a busy Monday afternoon." <laughs> okay. okay. Even if Simone, twenty bucks says, "On the Tory and, Me- and Megan situation, at the end of the day, Megan and her friend were beefing over Tory's penis." <laughs> Fellas, <laughs> take notes on the power you have. P.S. Tori ain't over six feet. Exactly. That's that very shit true. tiny. Yeah. I don't understand why we're scrapping a Listen, in the man, shoes. I'm because he's a man of status. That's why. Yeah. Women, so, it, like, yo, women since the beginning better. of time, bro, have, have wanted a man with status. If, and you, that, had, if you have right. one thing as a guy to get girls, no, it is clout. 100% status. status. Okay, so yeah. to, real quick to her point, because she mentioned like, oh, what if a guy puts pictures of himself on the internet where he's, uh, you know, abs are showing or whatever. So we actually literally discussed this with a professional bodybuilder like two days ago. You know, you want to know what Im- DMZ gets when he mm. posts pictures of his body? Mm. Gay dudes and a bunch of other guys saying, nice lats, bro. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't think women understand that when you're a guy and you're in good shape, it's not going to have nearly the same amount of impact as a girl that's in okay shape that posts pictures of her body. Mm-hmm. It's not the same whatsoever. So therefore, we can't, Yo, we can't equate the you two. You know what I wish? A girl would be open enough to post a picture and shows her DMs right after that. I guarantee you, a story post or a sexy picture. What if she's not responding to them? Doesn't yeah. matter. No, he's yeah, not it does. DMs. Do, do you understand that? Like, you're still attracting people to you, no matter. What. Like, for, for example, right? If you have a guy that you care about, right? Mm-hmm. Why do you want other niggas hitting you up? You don't. So, want are that? you okay with your girl being jealous over girls commenting on your pictures? They're not though. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, like, let's say I do a post. I might get like. Maybe 10 girls DM are uh, responding. The rest is a bunch of niggas. Like, it's not the same. Yeah, I don't think women understand that. Like, you, you guys do realize that even if you're a top tier guy, extremely good looking and a top 1% of looks, you're not going to get nearly as much attention 
as a woman that's average. Matter of fact, we have a chart that displays this. Oh my God. Chris, can you, uh, hey, Steve shout out to our, hey, our guy, fucking Steve, Steve will do it in the man. fucking chat, man. Yo. Yo, 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 Steve, yo, I love yo, you, bro. Yo, yo, no homo. Shout out to you, Steve. So, so we actually have a chart that displays this, ladies. They actually did a study on this with OK Cupid, and then they found that women that are average looking versus a guy that's extremely attractive, guys that are extremely attractive in the top 1% barely get the same amount of messages as average mm-hmm. girls. So we can't sit here and say, oh, well, what if you put pictures of your body up or you're a good looking guy, whatever, and girls DM you? Bruh, you're, number one, the only type of guys that can even get DMs from girls are in the top 1%. Number two, most guys barely get if any attention at all from women on social media and or dating apps like that. Right. So we can't compare the two whatsoever. It's a whole other experience when you're a man versus a woman on social media and dating. Like, it's, it's not. So y'all really mad that we get attention? No. Basically. <laughs> no, but it's true because you yeah, said that, that doesn't matter. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm no a influencer. I'm a brand ambassador. I yeah. post different pictures. I, po- I post pictures of me and my child, yeah. yep. pictures of Got my it. business, pictures when I go out, business meeting with my friends. So it's You're different, versatile. though, because it's business. Yeah. Most girls just post for attention. No. Okay, but... That's what I'm okay. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you guys yeah. to understand that this is a general conversation. We're not attributing this just to yourself. I need yeah. to step out your own two shoes and understand that we're talking about in generalities here when it comes to men and women and dating and relationships. So when I say women on average get way more messages than guys, and even a guy in the top one percent can't get the same amount of messages, we're talking about in general, not necessarily like yourself. Right, but the oh. comment that I made, you're genuinely mad or generally mad that you guys are that women are getting attention. I no. think it's because women are mad. as thirsty as men. It, okay. It's not. Because what? Let, me, let me clear this up. Yeah. 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 Oh, because, oh because let me make this extremely, thirsty. extremely clear. No one is mad that women get more attention on social media. Mm. We're simply stating a fact that they do get more attention on social media. Since you get more attention on social media, there needs to be things in place to protect the integrity of the relationship. Mm. Okay. Oh, so gosh. that's Agreed. the reality. Now, the, th- the problem is that women don't like this word I call accountability, which is you want the security of a relationship while simultaneously also wanting the autonomy of being single. And it doesn't fucking work that way. If you want a relationship with a guy that has his shit together, it comes with a cost. It's just that women don't want to pay the cost. They want to get the benefits of a title, a marriage, everything else like that without being a wife. And I'm here to call the fuckery. If you want a guy that's going to take you serious, that's worth a damn, he's going to have expectations and boundaries. And he's going to have standards. You have standards. You want a guy that makes a certain amount of money, a certain type of height. Why can women have standards, right? And, and act on them. But if I say something like, well, having sexy pictures of yourself on Instagram, eh, we don't necessarily want to commit to girls like that. That's met with some kind of contempt of insecure, small dick energy, or y'all are just mad. No, we're not mad. We understand the facts and we're acclimating our, uh, to those facts. If uh, the, the threshold for a woman to cheat is extremely easy. So therefore, knowing this as a guy and understanding my value, I need to have measures in place to protect my relationship and my name. Mm-hmm. If you want a relationship with me and you want to work for this company, you got to adhere so the standards, the code of the code of conduct with the job. And the code of conduct is thou shall not be a fucking slut and be with me. <laughs> if you want to be for the streets, fantastic. You'll be for the streets, but I'm not claiming you. The problem is that ladies want to be able to have a job while simultaneously collecting unemployment checks. It don't work that way. Okay. By the way, real quick, once yeah. again, Steve will do it. Donated twenty dollars this time. Double, 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 Steve double, will do double, it, double, man. Double, One of the best YouTubers on the platform. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Shout, shout out to Nelk. He deserves his dick suck now. <laughs> Kiki, Kiki will give you a blowjob, Steve. Yeah. We got you. Um, shout out to Steve. Yeah, shout out to Steve. We'll do it, man. Go check him out, guys. On Steve, will do it. Check out Nelk. Check out the full send podcast. He made me go skydiving, so, guys. I'm oh, is he part of the Nelk boys? Yeah. Oh, so then he knows Violet because they hired her to do some shit for them. I had a question for you. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. He, he, but but yeah. does that going back to the conversation? Does that make sense? I know you said no, that we're I, mad. No, but, no, understood. But you said it was general, so I was saying general. You know, guys do feel a way about it, but I understand because you know, oh, uh, I do understand because that's your personal preference. So exactly, um, that's to any average man, a high a high value man as well. You mm-hmm. know, so we do have to understand. The only that. difference between a high value man and a regular guy is a high value man has the balls to tell the girl, "I don't accept this." Exactly. The average guy, the average guy is going to have to accept it because he doesn't want to get hit with the shaming language. And real quick, let me just show you all this thing. And then and then I know you had something. Pull up that chart real fast. So this chart illustrates what I'm saying here, guys. So look at this message received versus recipients attractiveness. As you can see here, the light blue bar is the most is men. And then the dark blue bar is the women. Right. The men, even the most attractive, are getting pretty much the same amount of attention as a girl that's average in the medium range. Versus you look at the women, it goes up skyrockets as she gets more and more attractive. And this is from OKCupid. 
Well, guess what? We all know the number one dating app is actually Instagram, not fucking OkCupid. Facts. But if this is going on on OkCupid, can you imagine what it would be like on Instagram where you can openly message each other uh, without any type of restriction? A lot of the times it's the women that have restrictions on their DMs, not the other way around. So again, it's not that men are mad or whatever else like that. We're just accepting reality for what it is. When we get a lot of attention today, especially with the internet and everything else like that, if I'm going to attribute my last name to this woman, mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's a risk. And I'm going to definitely mitigate risk. If you work for a company, they're going to have certain things in place to make sure that you adhere to the rules. Right. Yeah. Same thing with men of value. They know that their name means something. You want this name. You have to meet the requirements. I you think the something? biggest thing here I is agree. that like most okay. guys, like you said, won't tell you. And as a result, he's telling you up to your face. Hey, this is why some guys won't wife you or they're ghosting because yeah. you see these things. And you know what? She's not wifey material. I'm good. I'll just smash and keep it going. So he's telling you up front how most guys feel. Yeah. They just won't be honest. We can't, we can't, men can't voice this, bro. Because yeah. they're always going to get hit with some kind of, you're a misogynist, you're an mm -hmm. asshole, you're toxic, you're controlling. That's all. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I was saying that I feel like um, it's not Watch. all men. I feel like it's Watch. different men. Because, for example, Cardi being offset. Okay. You see, like their relationship is different, you know? However, they, and some is business and some is not. You know, she do however she do. I'm just saying, I feel like personally, it's some men. Some men feel like that, and some men probably just don't. Let me ask care. you this then. Well, yeah. Hold on. Is she still dancing at the strip club? <laughs> no, but she's still posting, shaking. Like, shaking she's still ass. Yeah. The... No, I, I get that. I get that. But she here's the thing because women always like to use offset. I'm just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, yeah. I just vividly saw that. So no, no I get that. I get Let's that. But number one, is. using it, use, using uh, celebrities, is, uh, which is less than 1% of the population, is very dangerous precedent because what they do might not necessarily work for your relationship. And the other thing, too, exactly. is that, that said, she said in her song, I don't cook, don't clean, but still got a ring. She's cooking and cleaning, bro. Like, like, and this is why I think it's very dangerous that we have people like, you know, Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, these uh, city girls, whatever. These are women that ladies look up to thinking, if I act like this, I'm going to be able to live a fulfilling life or whatever. No, what you're actually going to do is you're going to ostracize yourself from the very men that you want. And Guys that are worth a damn are not going to commit to girls like that. Mm. So, so you can go ahead and have your fun, get your money, finesse a couple guys. Yeah, city yeah. girls, we up. Yeah, but you're going to be down in the long run when you become 30 years old and you can't necessarily get the yeah. same caliber exactly. guys to get that when you're younger. True. Mm -hmm. That so, is true. And this isn't to knock you. I'm just saying in general, like women tend to think that it's okay to act like this. It's fine. All I'm saying is that understand that every action has a reaction. So if you do this type of thing in your youth, don't expect guys to come back and save you from your bad decisions later. Now, Cardi B... Hey, man, that's an exception to the rule. See, she was able to do that type of behavior, be a stripper, get a rapper, whatever it is. But if you look now, she's not necessarily doing a lot of the same things that got her there in the first place. It's all for entertainment. Mm, exactly. Mm. That's well, true. that's why I said I feel like um, it's for some men because some mm -hmm. men will allow that mm -hmm. and some men won't. Exactly. You see, every man is not like you. Every man don't think like you. I promise you Offset is not going to let his girl no, listen, be around. I, I didn't say Offset this time. I said some men. Now I'm speaking on like different Majority. men. Okay. You know, because some men and I respect men who feel like that, you know, because yeah. they want they female to be right. Yeah. And it's some men who just don't care. You know, it's some men who don't care. And it's some men. Here's the thing. They care if they want to take her seriously. That's what I'm trying to explain. Mm. If I'm going to marry this girl or take her seriously, they're going to care. I promise you. Yeah. And if they don't care, that's a bigger show on the female as being useless. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. OK, that's what I'm, I just know that it's some men who care and some men who don't. But you might be one of those point. men. You're no. missing the point. And what's the point? The, the point is they care when there's a serious relationship at stake. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Every time they care. And right. and Cardi B, like she she's wild, she's wild, but that's her brand. That's that's, that's what she well, does. Some... Like, you know, so and we was just talking about it with, with boss boss lady over here. What's your name? Cam, Cam. Cam. Yeah. we were talking about it um because for example we we was just talking about the city girls right. and and we were saying how how they're like the city girls and what they are they're yeah. a brand what that's what they brand yeah and in reality we were saying that but they be like for example with a mans and and they they've been lending, lying y'all selling you guys yeah, a dream yeah exactly and honestly i'm Everything i'm like that too because i i talk i talk but then when when i get back with my baby daddy i'm a housewife again so <laughs> so, so no, I, like so, I had a question then so what if your girl's making money from the pictures she's posting on instagram those see that's pictures. probably just that's like cardi b though so we're probably making money can i who's can making I, money from no pictures? can i can i that's like all my direction you you still have to switch it up in order to be married, babe. Like, in order to have the ring, you're not going to... Let me tell you, something that's not going to happen in that relationship 
if you want to keep posting those lingerie pictures, them sexy photo shoots, and you think that he's still going to stay with you, that's... What awful. if you're a model, though? I am a model. That's what I'm telling you. I had to switch it up in order to get the ring. I went from being naked, naked and having lingerie to just putting on dresses and jeans and just, you know, stuff to still make myself look good. And it made you make less money? No, I still made, I made more money, actually. Because mm. now brands are looking at, okay, now she's not posting only naked shit. Now she's actually being versatile, being different with her outfits, her clothing, mm-hmm. her shoes, mm-hmm. her jewelry. Like, now I'm taking mm. time to dress myself up, give myself different wigs. Before it was just, okay, cool, you can throw some lingerie. Anybody could do that. Right. Sure. Right. But now I've, I've, I've doubled my money from changing up my content. Believe but, it or not, I feel like men now, now, like currently right now, are actually more attractive. Like it, they find it more interesting when a woman is clone. like not showing like before it was if she's like full on makeup and like showing all out like ass titties. Oh, my God. But I feel like now I don't know. I'm I'm asking you now if she's like more covered up and like less makeup, it's more interesting nowadays because nowadays it's just like. I want to say everybody like, showing she out loud. Body. She asked me is... a question. Yeah, no, <laughs> what do you I, I, think? I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening very closely. And here's the thing: it's not nowadays. It's always been that way. It's just that men can't really be honest about things like this. Yeah, not mm-hmm. Anything. True. What I, What I've come to realize is that anything that challenges a woman's ability to sexualize herself is always met with some kind of contempt. For example, if I say it's inappropriate for you to dress like a hoe on Instagram when you're in a serious relationship with a guy. Girls get mad at me for saying that. Like, oh, well, who the fuck are you? My body, my choice, mm-hmm. etc. Fantastic. Your body, your choice. My relationship, my choice. I'm going to pick who I commit to and I don't commit to girls like that. Mm-hmm. I'm simply saying you can do what you want to do, but you can't expect a lifeline at the end for a guy to come in and save you with a relationship. Mm-hmm. It don't work that way. And the thing is, is that men have already been doing this. It's just that the marriage rates are at the lowest they've ever been. I don't know if y'all ladies know this, yeah. just that they've been doing it silently. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you guys for once, like, yo. This is why guys aren't committed to girls. This mm-hmm. is why girls are chronically single. This is why we have the highest divorce rates, the lowest marriage rates, lowest birth rates. Mm-hmm. More women nowadays are complaining about not being able to find eligible bachelors than ever before. Mm-hmm. And the men have already spoken. It's just that I'm actually vocalizing it. They've spoken it. They've done it through action. So men typically don't want to commit to girls that have certain types of behaviors and habits. And unfortunately, dressing like a hoe is one of those things that may disqualify you from a good mm-hmm. amount of men. Guys, quick break here. Um, we're almost at 700k subscribers. Something to Hit that goddamn quick. sub. And uh, so I'm losing just, hair follicles. We're here. gonna get it to react to as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can play that video. Um, Anything else before we go to the video, ladies? I have a question though. When it came to the Instagram, what if like your highlights have like your hobbies, like cooking and other kind of stuff that can show you wifey material, but not necessarily like your pictures are like hoey, but they're like good pictures of. Like, it depends on the guy. Like, uh, ladies, I'm just giving you a basic, like, general yeah. litmus test of like what most guys are gonna not tell you necessarily. So like, I would argue if you lined up a hundred guys, right. And you asked them, Hey, listen, man, if I took away, you know, these sexy pictures of myself on Instagram and everything else like that, would you prefer that? They would probably say, yes, I would prefer that if they didn't get shamed or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Now, if you have it up, some guys may tolerate it. Everyone has different tolerance levels, exactly. right? But if you want to increase the likelihood of getting a relationship, if you want to increase your market value, if you want to make yourself the best candidate, you should be doing this shit without me telling you. You should be doing it without the guy even telling you. Mm -hmm. Because when women take initiative to take themselves off the market, it makes you more attractive. For example, if I told you I had a Lamborghini versus you naturally find out what sex you're. Wait, what? If I had a Lamborghini and I told you, yo, I got a Lamborghini versus you find out randomly because you might drive by my house and you see it parked outside, what's going to be sexier? Me, John, me finding out. out. Me, me finding, finding out. out. I yeah. hate a motherfucker that talks. Yes. That's so annoying. Fantastic. Oh, I do this. For, I, I don't give a Lambo. fuck. Okay. I Lambo my car. Okay. Perfect. I don't give a fuck. Perfect. So same thing. I don't want to. things I ladies, would do. Same exact thing. I don't want to have to tell you to not be a hoe. You should know and take initiative to not be a hoe. Mm-hmm. And certain types of behaviors, you know, quite frankly, make you look like a hoe, even if you're not. Mm-hmm. So I shouldn't have to tell you what to do to be a girl. Just like I shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to tell me what to do to be a good guy. Mm-hmm. 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 I hear uh, a motherfucker that talks. Speaking of hoes, oh, talk, talk, talking. <laughs> uh, based on their IGs, which profile would you wife? Uh, nigga said 80% said neither. Uh, 11% said Sova Savage. 5% said your holy angel. And then 3% said both. It's a and, and this is from 2,000 guys. So that's a pretty good body of evidence. And these are all men here, guys, that are watching us. Like 90% of our audience is guys. Okay, so let's read some chats and then the video real quick. Yeah. 
I love you, little five percent. Shut the skin. <laughs> Shut the skin. And remember, this isn't your self worth. Eleven. I got an eleven tatted. So <laughs> they're not saying you're ugly. They're not saying fuck this bitch. They're just simply saying like, oh, I probably wouldn't wife her. Right, right. That's all. The last keynote, twenty bucks says, uh, fresh two. Brits have. Wait, what's this? Oh, uh, talk. Oh, okay, cool. It's a tongue so, twister. They fresh. want you to read. Brisk brave brigaders, <laughs> brandish broad, bright blades, blunderbusses, and blood bloodigans bouncing them, them badly. Chris, this you. Oh, really? Uh, you know New York. You need New York. You know you need unique New York. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Doctor Mo seven 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 says fifty bucks. When Gil asked Meg if she had a relationship with Tori, her response was, "Um, like, like sexually, sexually? <laughs> just capping, crunch, that girl line." Uh, who knows, my friend? P possibly. Dr. B84 says, uh, once I upgraded to Alexis within the first six months, I got hit on a few times and stares from wom uh, women. I got no female attention when I drove a Camry. Mm. Eh, possibly. Thomas Echevera, 20 bucks, says, Girl Next to Fresh used to smash my cousin Juan in high school. I'm not buying that alpha crap. Women that play that game just end up losing in the end. Who's Juan? <laughs> <laughs> Roast them. Oh, the uh, Girl Next to Fresh. So who's in, in Juan? high school? Yeah, who's one? One in high school. Wait, what happened? Talking to me? Yeah. yeah. There was uh, the girl next to Fresh <laughs> used to smash my cousin in, in uh, high school. Uh, one. Yeah, probably. What? What? Okay. Hey, uh, yeah. Probably, probably him. Yeah. Shout out to you. Why? What happened? What's the point? <laughs> and Crypto Cat. All right, bucks. <laughs> Myron, course of the year. I've just been taking some notes, and that sounds good on paper. But the reality is, we've talked to well over a thousand women. And all you throw fours are the same. <laughs> uh, 20 bucks from Lin Zhu. Uh, when guys say let's build something together is a no-go. But when I say, but when girls say I want to build an empire with him and be a car couple, couple SMH. <laughs> all right. She, she, Live and learn 20 bucks. Mm -mm. So you got some? Yeah. You think that's Cause, bullshit too? Yeah, because uh, why you need him? Why you need him? Why can't you build your own thing? Fair enough. Uh, Luis Brito, question for the panel and FNF. What's a reasonable time frame for your man's personal growth and momentum for women to stay interested in their man? Because even if it's always striving for better, there's always time frames between leveling up. It depends on the situation, bro. If you're a doctor, then she's going to have a little bit more patience because you're obviously got to go through your residency or whatever. But if you're a dude and you're an entrepreneur, it might be less. So it depends. Yeah, right? it does depend yeah, because depends. if they're in the same, like, if they're doing the same thing, like if they're both doing, let's say, music or they're both doing, uh, they're both doctors and they can do something together. Yeah, of course, as a business partner, but not in like a relationship way. Like, why do you need Somebody paid a hundred dollars. Okay, three diglets says ka 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 ka. Basically, you're like. <laughs> um, we have um, FF chat. Latina is knuckles to Sonic. Andrew Long, I'm sorry, no AJ64. Haha, <laughs> man, I'm 27, six foot five, 225 about to clear 20k this year. All the men know, both old and young, will never marry women like this. Recreational use only. Oh okay. shit, damn. Mm -hmm. Bougie, 20 bucks says, if you say your cat is fire. Go to a doctor. You might have STD. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, Jordan, pussy fire. Okay. Jordan Edney, Go ahead. 20 bucks Canadian. Simply put, women with big personalities like Girl Next to Fresh are a liability. She'd be popping up, ka 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 ka, causing problems I'm have to handle. Wait, what? <laughs> He's saying that you cause problems and your liability for having personality. Okay. All right. We have uh, as well here, um, who? Let me see one second. Where are we at? I love how they're talking right. about me. Um, okay, so just a tip: the city they're girls fans, that are retired, all of them are in relationships, are and are happy. So, what's going exactly. with the three hundred four still three hundred four? Oh yeah, you're saying the city girls are kind of like doing the opposite. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, okay, Mo Yasin, ladies, the type of guy that you want: confident, intelligent, assertive, productive, competitive, and successful. RP Kevin Simon's nine hundred ten guy sometimes <laughs> would go down and looks for femininity and compliance. So in other words, guys will date a girl that's a little bit less attractive, but she's not going to give him a headache. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's God's really rating from Iron and Fresh. That's, that's, so like, that's true. That's so true. Yeah. But that's true. When you're insecure. All right, we got, <laughs> <laughs> we got Raida. For the book says, she just wants to be single. Well, in a relationship, make it make sense. That's very true. That's true. true. Uh, 561 Lifestyle. Uh, God's rating from Iron uh, to Fresh. Solo D4 with a paper bag. What? Who's he Solid four. Oh, is. solid. Okay, saying you with a paper bag. Okay. Uh, etc. Extra strength. Oh, etc. Extra strength. What's the paper bag? Are oh, you saying they put a paper bag on your face? Uh, six. <laughs> oh, because I don't have makeup on. Okay. Okay. Six and then five. Numbers don't go that low. Etc. Regular strength. Now Hershey kisses hurt my teeth. Feminine wash. Wash. It takes the smell away. F and F. 
or great over the age three. What are you saying? No, he's yeah. really talking from, from, from me. Okay, so let me read. Yeah, let from, me get, from, get from it for y'all. Fresh, yeah. Okay, from Myron and Fresh, they go solo D four with a paper bag. Okay, so they're saying her. Sorry. Myron? Okay. Oh. Yeah, from our yeah. So they're they're saying they would they're giving you a four. Okay, okay. and then uh, the next girl they're saying Excedrin extra strength for you. <laughs> okay, I, I think that's is that a ibuprofen or some shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the headaches. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then for you they're saying they give you a six. Uh, they're giving you a five. Uh, they give Kiki saying <laughs> numbers don't go that low. God damn. Uh, and then you in the corner, they're saying Excedrin, regular strength. And then you, nah, Hershey kisses hurt my teeth, this nigga, bro. <laughs> and then for you, feminine wash, it takes the smell away. So he would smash you with feminine wash. <laughs> Okay. Yo, wow. they're corny. They're corny. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, don't don't worry about have you seen it. a girl with no makeup on? It's not about. It's what you said earlier. That's oh, what they're one? saying. Uh, oh, because my. Yeah, because you said you was an alpha, so they're gonna literally just keep ranking you, bro. It you wasn't even are an alpha girl. Wait, feminine Trust wash me. with being an alpha? No, you no, said your no. pussy was fire, so now they're trashing you because of what you said. Because right. how do you know your pussy is fire? That means clearly. Not only because of that. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know because and, uh, no, because it person... only lasts two seconds. That's why I know. Okay, it's not it's not the pussy was fire thing. It was because they said city girls pussy smell. That's what they're trying yeah? to say. Yeah. Because you called oh. yourself a city girl. Yeah. And then oh, that's okay. why they said that shit. <laughs> Oh, Blanca. Explaining on. jokes kills it. Yeah, uh, we, yeah we, we get it, man. The chat, <laughs> y'all are funny. I get it. Yeah. Uh, Myron, you should open up the DMs on the man for women as, uh, wait. Oh, DMs on the man for, for women, women as well. well. Goddamn, the IG was crazy. Okay. Well, to, to be fair, women, Instagram doesn't really matter. Yeah. They it doesn't matter. They can post bro. whatever. They can post two or three pictures and be yeah. fine. Al, 20 bucks. I think a new segment she added to the show, Wife or Smash, based on the female guest's Instagrams. Oh, well, that's a good one. Mm. That is good. Okay, we could do that. That could might that. be a new, a new portion, portion of the show. Um, <laughs> Dr. Mo. Our post with caution for both. Oh, no, sorry. Dr. Mo, uh, after seeing their IGs, it's a no-go. It's a no for me, dog, respectfully. Okay. <laughs> Kuma-san, yo, the post office worker needs to sign up for DMs on demand. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's pretty bad, though. Uh, zero royalty media. Why? What did... Wh- what I think y'all did, why? Well, what y'all didn't see... In her oh. Instagram pic was me blowing bubbles in a tub. Oh, the one, uh, <laughs> next and fresh. Yeah, and that was like the the picture that I got the most like likes and comments. Yeah, sure. I wonder why. Yeah. I wonder why. It's and not then, that. Uh, Steve will do it. Uh, 50 for bucks. earlier, yeah, fifty bucks and then another hundred bucks, man, or two hundred. No, thank, thank you, Steve. Another hundred bucks. Uh, thank you, Steve. We'll do it again. No, Steve. Oh, God damn. Two hundred. Okay. This is all a tax write off. I see what you're doing, Steve. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Steve. Two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. Five hundred. It's a tax write off. He he makes quite a bit of money. So he's like, oh, I got it. Niggas, this is a tax write off. So uh, business, um, which mm. actually could be because he's a YouTuber. Yeah. And then we got three diglets here, three hundred bucks. Congrats on seven hundred K plus. Do we have seven hundred K? I'm not I'm checking right now. Yeah. I'm checking. I'm checking. Hey. We're like three hundred subs away. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, and then we got uh, twenty bucks. Thanos wire. Why do women always see say what if we make money from taking pictures? Let's be real. Most women form a payment on social media as attention only. Most getting paid for doing something strange for a piece of change. There you go. <laughs> Facts. Okay, and then JT, JT. If a girl gets in a relationship with a man, she respects her body, should only be seen by that man from there on out. It's common sense. Okay. Okay. And then Suave Temper, range for tonight panel, a combined score of 10 <laughs> on oh, the snicker, bro. Okay, we got a bit to react okay. to. Okay, go ahead. Show to our boy Adam from No Jumper. Um, so he he did a, a interview with this a young lady, and um we're gonna watch it and see what he says about what she did to her boyfriend. Oh shit. All okay. right, uh one take. Uh, okay. With my boyfriend, last year I started talking to this guy who was in a band. Ended up visiting him. Like I drove to LA, spent three days with him, and he said, "Break with your boyfriend, moves to LA." It was like went there on a Friday that Monday. I broke with my boyfriend, who I was with for five and a half years. Oh wow! Yeah. So the guy in the band, good guys do not finish first. It turns no. out was he a great guy? Oh, the band guy. Awful. No, the first guy. Oh, he was such a good guy. And he yeah, left him for this say. piece of sh. The band guy probably was not. Fresh and Phil are right about everything. God. Hey, <laughs> we are. Shout out to Adam, man. So, so uh, please, I want to hear your thoughts on that. Is she wrong? Is she right? How do you feel about what she just said about the story? I mean, she was with her, what, her man for five and a half years. Five years, and, man. And, like, leaves for someone else like that. For three days. So, mm, it's giving days. thought. <laughs> three days. Like, nah. So, was she right or was she wrong? She was wrong to do that, in my opinion. Okay. 
What about you? Um, in my opinion, she's a thought. I don't care. Nobody can tell me less because it's like she said the guy was a good guy. So why did you leave yeah. him? Because some guy randomly from LA and spontaneous told you to come out. Like, girl, what what did you do? And that could have been your whole soulmate. Like you just left him five years down the drain. Like that's crazy, bro. She a thought. I'm sorry. The angel has spoken. <laughs> I would have to agree as well. That's like nah. Yeah. No, nah, no, it's wrong. No loyalty at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, she did wrong. G. Kiki. <laughs> She's a porn star? Yeah. <laughs> I would have cheated on him and then came back. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about you? No, she's just wrong. You don't throw five years down the drain. It don't matter. Like, a band of billionaire, you don't throw five years down the drain. Mm. Okay. Um, I think she's wrong. And personally, it's not about the years. Loyalty is loyalty. It don't matter if it's one year or if it's three months. You feel me? So she was wrong for that. I feel your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I got offered this this weekend, actually, by the way. I oh, swear to God. Oh, um, so and he and he offered me like a whole ass career. He said, I'm going to give you I'll, I'll have you a place to live in in LA like and my goal is like to move to LA because because of my music and stuff and he's like a re- I'm not gonna say names but he's like a really big like huge man and like the best motherfucker out there like in the industry and he offered me that but I had to be like kind of like his like he wanted to be like my trick pretty much he because, wanted to pimp you out yeah not no not pimp me out a trick isn't a pimp it's a it's a guy that want, it's not even a sugar daddy it's like a younger guy who wants to like maintain you and give you an allowance give you a place give you a car all of that and i took it down like, in return though like what, a wait, career. what's the definition for, of a for, trick for, to you what's the definition right. of a trick? that's not like a a trick for me is like what i think it is because i don't know a yeah. trick is like a young like a young sugar daddy like for me that's what i think it is so but you just said and okay, a- you're like you're literally uh, okay because a sugar daddy and is is a form of a pimp. He's just old. Like you're still a getting pimp is out. somebody who sells, no. who no. takes all the money. Yeah, because there's a difference between a trick, a pimp, and a sugar daddy. Yeah. There's three different a sugar daddy. There's some sugar daddies who you can meet to go can... on dates and you don't have to do anything sexual with them. Mm-hmm. Okay. A trick though, a trick is selling your body. Oh, for real? And yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, sugar sugar no, no, no. I was a sugar daddy. Okay, okay. okay. A sugar, because I'd be thinking that trick is sugar. I don't know. No, trick and pimp is the same thing. So, You're being pimped out, tricked out. That's the same shit. A okay, sugar so daddy he was trying to be my sugar daddy because he's like, so he wanted to give me a whole career and I took it down because I, I was like, listen, I can't because um, I'm in love. I'm still in love. And call, I'm not even call. with the motherfucker. And I'm like, I just can't. I can't. I can't because I know I'm going to be unhappy and I've I've already been there. So. Um, I mean, to, to just add clarity to this situation with sugar daddy tricks and p- pimps, sugar daddies and tricks are essentially the same thing. That's a, they're the same thing. You're, you're, you're paying a girl money for her attention and you you know you're giving her shower or gifts, whatever. Sometimes the guys get sex, sometimes they don't. Right. Exactly, so like, yeah. but you know, let's be honest here. The goal for the guy is always sex. It's yeah. up to the girl yeah, to see how exactly. long they can actually. Finesse cool. it, but mm-hmm. at some point the guy's gonna come to collect. It's up to the yeah. girl to decide if they're gonna actually let him collect or move on to the next guy. So, um, but it's a, it's it's basically simping is what it is. Yeah. Um, okay. And, and and I actually thought and and supposedly they called me because supposedly he wanted to sign me mm-hmm. to his label. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. No, he didn't. Oh. No, I swear to God. No, I'm I, saying no. I'm saying he didn't want to sign. He exa- wanted to sign. Yeah. And and then and then he, they were like, oh, he's gonna meet you at the um at the at the pool or whatever you're not like and i was like okay and then my i'm talking too much i can't give too much it's fine we've heard a million times i mean it's very common it's this happens all the time in the music industry they'll take a girl that's like attractive and they'll say they'll promise her the world they'll fuck and they'll never talk to her again no and he asked me so so what's your story because he's really interested in like a story because he's like every artist has like a story and like a sad story and like my life no yeah yeah, my life is sad as shit so then I started crying and shit. That's and then that's you. what they want that's you to do. That's exactly what they want you to do. Yeah, that's what I noticed, bro. When I noticed that shit, like, exactly. I was crying. And then the motherfucker goes, and then he, he hugs me, and then I feel the his heart. Ho- I was like, ah, oh, fuck. If this shit was, you should have told me from the first, first foremost, you should have told me, listen, I'm trying to do, and, and now I can't even, 
I Wait, can't so you hugged him and you felt the fucking stiffy? <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. You should have told me this shit from the beginning. Now I can't Yo. even be on home mode. Because Yo. if you would have told me from the beginning, maybe oh, I would have been like, oh, yeah. That nigga was listening to that fucking sad story, just like, yeah, I like and it. I'm not going to up to this way, but it, 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 like, I was already like in my feelings, but if not, like, you should have told me from the beginning. Why can't y'all motherfuckers be honest? That was red Because y'all can handle the truth. Because if y'all be honest, like shit, I'll I'll get into my personality where it's like, hi, yeah. And then you'll finesse them. I don't know. I exactly. Like... <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, well, that's why guys can't be honest because yeah. most girls can't take the truth. Yep. Um. All right, so what's your take on that video, Fresh? So, honestly, I'm not surprised. I mean, yeah. we've seen it all the time. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is that, like, the guy must have been probably paying her bills, maybe taking care of her. Yeah. And to leave that behind for a maybe, because I guarantee you, maybe he's a bit more, I don't know, better in bed, maybe more attractive too as well. Maybe had funds as well, but like, it's kind of like five years for something new. Man, where's the loyalty? Mm. Real quick, exactly. I want to spin it back to the ladies. Let's assume she went back and tried to get him back. Let's say you're the guy. Would you take her back? <laughs> five and a half years know. together? Would you take her back as the guy? Um, I would. It, it's all about communication. If she told me that she was honestly trying to use him and to get a career, I would be like, "Listen, like, I forgive you because you were just trying to like use. You were using him. You don't love him. You love me. You would take her back if she if it's the right type of communication. And if she wasn't doing it because she she liked the motherfucker, if she was using him, it's different. You wouldn't drive three fucking days yeah. if you didn't like nobody. Okay, then she and then it's different because if she liked him, fuck bitch, <laughs> fuck out of here. Okay, so what's the answer? No. Okay. <laughs> if she if she had feelings for him. <laughs> okay. What's your thought? Would you take Would you take uh, her back if you were the guy in his situation? I'm not sure. You're not sure. I'm just not sure because I'm thinking about it and I'm like, bring the mic closer to you. Okay. I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> I don't got no snacks. Um, bro, whose man is this? <laughs> All right. Don't worry. We're about to wrap it up. Yeah. What's What's your go ahead? Um, I just I'm not sure. You're not sure. Know. What's your thoughts on it? My answer is no. You threw my you loyalty out the window. Okay. Hell no. Would you, Kiki? Would you take a? Uh... Love does some crazy things. Mm. So you Love would you Kiki. would you take a, would you take her back as the guy? I mean, five years is a long time to be with somebody. Mm. So what? What? what so she's... you would take her back? People make mistakes. Okay. Yeah, that was deep. You would take her. So now you're changing your mind. You would take her back now. What she said was very wise and deep. Love does she's crazy things. Like, <laughs> it's true. Okay. All right. What about you? It's true. No. You would not take her back. No. Okay. Why not? You said why not? Yeah, why not? But she because, loved you. Uh, she I'm loved really you. big on loyalty, so you left me for another man. Right. You know, it's just like no coming back for that five and a half years. You could have cheated on me yeah. and still wanted to be with me. But, mm -hmm. you know, you really broke up with me and drove three um, days, whatever, however long. But no, absolutely not. Okay. Um, no, because now I have trust issues and now I'm going to like be on the lookout. We're going to do it again, which if you already did it once, why not do it? twice right. so I, I just wouldn't do that to myself i could just find someone else okay uh you would you take her back or... i already told y'all she just thought i would not take that girl back. <laughs> all right put your headphones on by the way oh sorry okay welcome back and then uh i would Stupid. not take her back no. you would not take her back why not because she definitely broke my trust and if you really love a person you won't do something like yeah love makes you do crazy things but at the end of the day like you're but, but she loves you. But nah, but that's no. not if you. That's a person you want to marry in the makes, future. You know. Let, let her finish. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I'm if that's someone you see in the future with, like your soulmate, like I mean, you should like that's your ride and die. Period. Okay. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. All right. So real quick, and one more scenario for the ladies because I think this is a very interesting topic. <laughs> Let's say the guy went and saw another girl mm. and hung out with her and broke up with his girl. Right? Mm. Would you take him back? No. You would not take him back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you take him back? Me? Yeah. <laughs> No. Okay. What the hell? Would you take no, him back? Hell you would no. not take him back? Nope. Can't even. No. Mm -hmm. At okay. all. He went and visited her. Oh. You, would you take him back? Um. You know people what? People make mistakes, though. You know what? People do make mistakes, and my ex, I did have my my last boyfriend like two years ago. I caught him cheating on me with escorts, and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Escorts, porn star, same thing, no, right? No, not no, the same it's thing. Oh, okay, it's sorry, not yeah. the oh. same thing. No. Way yeah. cheaper. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> Way cheaper. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and I caught him doing that, and I still took him back because I mean he took care of me, he paid my bills, and I had a roof over my head. So okay, would you would you take him back, uh, or would you uh, take him back? No, my lord. Once again, loyalty. Fuck love, loyalty. You're not gonna be loyal to me at the end of the period. day. Period. All right. No. No. Okay. Oh, don't, don't come back to me. Yeah, <laughs> I know yeah. you want to say. Yeah. I know it's you're gonna very say. Interesting. No, no, come back. Interesting the perspective. So, so she said. Love makes you do crazy things, but she said, "Love does crazy." Wait, what was it that you said? <laughs> no, this is your opinion. Stupid. Would you take? A, a, let's say, let's say your baby daddy right now. He went and drove to go see another chick, bro. Ooh. Ooh. And he went to go smash another chick and broke up with you. You know what's the went problem? On a podcast you know what's the crazy shit? You yeah. know what's the crazy, crazy, crazy shit? It happened. <laughs> so he took another bitch to Orlando, hey. and then Three when hours. he got when he was arrested. <laughs> I went with another motherfucker to Orlando. Oh shit! To pick him oh, up. Wow. So you got even. Did you take right. him so we back? Got even. Did you so, take him back though? She just said we got even. So yeah, clearly. I took him back, and then he got arrested, and then I did the same shit. So you smashed another guy. I had another. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, raw. And he knows about <laughs> it. No. Oh, <laughs> no, condom, condom, condom. Side, okay. The side is a condom. Stop the cap. And I was, I'm like a guy because. <laughs> It's funny because um, <laughs> when I had oh, them, shit. when he came out, um, I was like, yo, how do guys maintain having two bitches at the same time? I could never. I can't. I'm super bad at lying. Like, that shit. Well, it's because you're like, a woman, Listen. so. I thought you was alpha, though. Yeah. Like, mad respect because that that's in a bit. I was going crazy. I swear to God. I was like. <sighs> but you're alpha, though, right? Real quick, real quick question for the ladies before I give my final take on this shit. video here. How y'all do you think it's appropriate? Right, and don't feel bad. Don't offend her. Don't worry about her feelings. If your boyfriend cheats on you, are gonna are you gonna get even and fuck another guy to make it even? Mm, yes no. or no? You're not. I'm just leave. They no. gonna lie. We gotta go. Pack it up. You're not gonna go fuck another guy, make it even. No, pack it up. We already y'all already nah, know but y'all story. gonna break up with him and then have another one. Don't lie. Have another one. She, no, but he I'm said leaving. cheat though. So like, we're not cheating. We're not getting shit even. That's childish as hell. You I know, I broke up done. with him and then. And then I got back with him later. Childish. So like we wasn't together. <laughs> we wasn't wait, together, but I still did it. Wait, but I'm on. a real bitch. I'm going to say. Question for you: Did he fuck that bitch, raw? <laughs> no, come them side motherfucker. Got a no, 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 no. Stop the no, cow. Did he? Who? Yeah. The girl. The girl. The bitch that your nigga Facts. took to Orlando. Did he fuck her raw? You don't know. I don't know, but right. I, I. But okay. you know what? He probably did. Okay. So you broke up with him, then you went with this other guy. Uh, uh, you broke up with him first. It wasn't right after. We broke up. We had a while off. We okay. weren't together. In that time off, you went with the other guy and got even. No, not in that when time. What? That shit was with time. When he went to jail. He listen. He did that shit, what? and then like two months later, he got arrested. We wasn't together. Um, we were on and off, cause that's my baby daddy. You can't okay. get rid of him. So that's why you guys were so- off. We were on it. Yeah, we were off. Okay. And then I did it when we were off. But then we were on and off. Okay. So you, you said no. Kiki, would you do that to be to get even with your guy if he cheated on you? Fuck another dude? Yeah. I, I fucked my oh, weed yeah, man. Did. Yeah, you did already do this. Yeah. <laughs> you fucked your weed man that when. Okay. Yes. To get on the ex-boyfriend that cheated on you. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Would you? No, no. I'll go on a date, but not fucking. That's going too far. Okay. What about you? Yeah. I'm not going to like. Fuck someone just because someone else nah. fucks someone. Like I don't need to do that. Let, let, let I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're right, you're right. Okay. That's so just, you wouldn't. I okay. wouldn't. Yeah. What um, about you? You said she went to Orlando and fucked another girl. <laughs> you took another girl. Can I ask a question, I'm real quick? Ask question. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have a question. Wait, so, wait, wait. Let me wait, finish. Wait. Let me finish. So she went to or he went to Orlando and fucked another girl. And yeah. I'm just... the question is simply: If your boyfriend cheats on you and fucks a bitch, are you gonna get even and go fuck another guy? I don't even know who he is anymore. And okay. it wasn't even like so, that. Is the I wouldn't even yes, yes, I would not. just let that shit okay, happen. So that's with the time. point. No, so, I would not. So for you, no. Okay, so no. no. Okay. What I did it a year no. later. No. Put that. No. Just putting no. that out. Because. Okay. That. See that? Okay, so they wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, they wouldn't do it. Okay. I mean, I think it's a little bit of cap because I know girls yeah. be getting petty. Like they'll 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 Me? go ahead and fuck another guy. I'm just simply Me? here to say that 
<laughs> um, Ladies, if you get even a fucking other guy, you're actually taking the L. It's yeah. not the yeah. yeah that's, that's true. true. That's true. That's true. true. But, but let, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, I have ahead. a question because it wasn't like that. It wasn't that he did it right there and then I did it right there. No, that's just not like that because I'm not that type of person. I'm not that type of bitch to go fuck whatever comes in my way. But I have a question for y'all because this is what happened to me. Let's say a year ago, your ex, let's say your baby daddy, like love of your life, goes, <laughs> leave, like cheats on you. Goes takes the bitch to Orlando, right? And then you break up with him. A year later, you meet a guy. You've been talking to him for a while. You really like him. Like, like he meets your standards. And then he invites you to go to Orlando. You're not gonna go a year later when you didn't like. Okay, but that's yeah, talking about. So yeah, yeah we, talking right. about we can do that. Still... Cool, but that's not how you came on here with the star. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Are you still <laughs> talking to him though? In midst cool. of that, like cool. which one? That you're taking off from your baby daddy while you're in between that? Are you still it's talking to him? No, more no story, so. we were off. So it's not getting even. But right? then we yeah. got back later. Right. So, man, why did you bring up the story? It's it's for it. everybody, bro. Uh, right. Anyhow, um, cool. So we got that covered. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys took notes there. Right. So, uh, very what, interesting. What are your thoughts on <laughs> what the video? she said? Yeah. So, here's the reality. That um the guy in the band, the reason why he said break up with your boyfriend and come over, whatever, he tested her. He wanted to see if she would actually do it. Right. Yeah. And yeah, the fact that she broke up with him, right? Left the boyfriend and went to go hang out with her. He was like, Oh, this girl's a fucking slut. Yeah, oh my right. god. Probably smashed her, dogged her out, didn't really take her I that bet serious, they ain't whatever. No more. Maybe whatever. But the point is is that he lost an incredible amount of respect for her because the fact well number one the fact that she was talking to him in the first place he was like okay this girl's for the streets then the fact that she went out to go see him and broke up with her boyfriend after five and a half year relationship to him it was a game yo i'm gonna take this girl from this fucking dude probably showed his homeboys in the chat look at this shit this bitch about to come out here blah blah, blah break up with her boyfriend for me whatever and the fact that she actually did it he was like oh she's for the streets i'm not gonna take her seriously which again ladies Men are never going to be vocal about what they're not attracted to in women. And the reason why they're not going to be vocal about it is because, number one, they don't want to lose the ability to fuck you. And then number two, society punishes guys for being honest about female nature. If I say, yo, you know, I don't want a chick that's fat or a girl that's a hoe or a girl that's annoying or super masculine or super assertive, they're going to look at me and say you're insecure, you're controlling, whatever. So guys just don't, they just vote with their with their actions, not with the, what they say. And to your point, if she could leave homeboy for me, What's to say she won't leave me for somebody yeah, else? Yeah. So in back of my head, saying, like, wait, I would sin. never take her serious because I'm like, okay, you a hoe because you're going to leave him. For... Nah. The same done. way how you get him is the same exact way how you lose him. It's possible. But if he's a good guy, like, why How would the you fuck is he a good guy? If clearly, like, <laughs> what's not about? clicking, babes? It's not there. <laughs> wait, we're not talking about my baby, Danny. I'm talking about the, the girl, that, her man. The, she we're said he was a good guy and clearly that wasn't enough. Clearly, she it, wanted the man to know. I would have never done that. I'm well, just no, that you thing. might not have, but she but definitely she did. did. She definitely took but, a three day drive. If he's like somebody, like, oh, I still wouldn't do it if he, even if he cheats, but like, you gotta be like, what are you saying? Uh, okay, okay, we got some chats go. here. Um, cause you're, you're right now, you're buffering. I don't know what you're doing, but stupid. So All right, the the bus um, says. It, it, yeah, man. Uh, so the, the more of the story is, guys, is that. He did it to, to test her. Guys, have, and the other thing too, I don't know if the ladies know this, guys that have money, status, clout, whatever, a lot of the time it's a game to them. Yeah, so guys, what they'll do sometimes is like, they'll be like, all right, let me see how little effort I could put in or let me see what I can get away with here. Guys are always going to do the least required to get the girl, okay? Just like women are going to do the least required to keep the guy around, you know? Like, let's be honest, if you meet a guy, right, and he's like not that attractive, but he's get, taking you out on dates and shit, you're going to just eh, give him scraps until, you know, decide, okay, this guy's not worth it or something better comes along. Guys are kind of the same way when it comes to sex. They're going to do the minimum required to get what they want. And then after they get it, they're like, all right, cool, I'm good. That includes saying some bullshit about we're going to build a... a, a <laughs> um, uh, we're gonna be a power Empire. couple. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna, it could be I'm gonna go ahead money. and get your career up. It could be I'm gonna promote you at the post office. I don't fucking know. Hmm. They're gonna sell dreams. Uh, guys mm -hmm. understand that you got when you lie, women buy. So yeah. that's just how it is. So real quick, guys, we are still pending 700k subs on YouTube, <laughs> guys. If you don't mind, you don't have to, you don't have to donate. You don't have to do anything like that. Just like the video, sub to the channel. That's all we ask for. Yep. We're almost there. Like the video, sub to the channel. We need your help, guys. Uh, okay, right. so you got you got this fresh? Daffy666, that's a weird name. Oh, if man. IG was only women, 
follow women and men follow men, would it still be as important? Probably not. Mm. Serena Williams, 20 bucks, says, Instagram provides dates, free meals, access to simps, and sugar daddies, ready to give you money, getting flown out. Ladies, you all know this, but act brand new when your man gives you a relationship, says no Instagram. That's facts, man. The tax collector, 20 bucks, says, go next to fresh, said, I'm Spanish. No, you're just ignorant. No, Don't blame your ethnicity. <laughs> but like, what if Spanish is my first language? Mm. No, you said you are Spanish. <laughs> so you did sometimes not say I... I'm Hispanic. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> Moving on smartly. Mohammed... In Spanish, I'm so much smart, smart, smarter. <laughs> Mohammed Rashid <laughs> pretty much says, <laughs> "This is the <laughs> definition of pretty privilege, my friend. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is the embodiment of what happens when yeah. n- no one in your life ever tells you." Yo, you're kind of dumb, bro. Yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah. I think she's I get too. dumb when I'm hungry, okay? I'm spending twenty dollars to say that oh, Kiki bro. be slowly morphing into Madara Uchiha. Huh? That's a compliment, I think, because uh, he's like a ninja in what na- is, Naruto. Um, what's Madara Uchiha? He's That's a, from Naruto. Yeah. Naruto anime. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who here watches anime? I will, uh, Shout out to you. Oh, I'm a Sailor Moon oh. person. I like Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon? I mean, that's old. Gay? Okay. Congrats on everything, fam. Do not let anyone try to stop what you guys are doing. Roads one mil. We'll be there celebrating with you guys. Thank yeah, you, bro. Scott. Appreciate that. Thank you, bro. Even with all the haters and the free press, uh, free press and everything else that they try to do, it don't work, bro. They seem to not understand they are sabotaging their own happiness for careers, uh, cars, okay, cars, yeah, fresh, Chris's, meds, and suicide. Oh. Oh, cats or cats, cats, cats. Yeah, cats. Okay, yeah. Uh, that will not fill the family vo- uh, shape void in a woman's soul, a uh, woman's biology desires. Reject biology, reject happiness. Okay. Exactly. He's trying to say that women get most happiness from family, not necessarily careers or exactly. anything like that. Exactly. That's why they didn't accept the career Wait, in LA. Okay. Okay. So I got some snacks over here, Nina. Just let me know. Also, probably because <laughs> you realized you. he was kind of being creepy listening to your sob story, and then he has a heart on when you hug him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, some Jeffrey Epstein type shit. shit. Did that? Did that kind of like turn you off too? Probably. Huh? I want snacks. Oh <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> man, we yeah, got I'm some time. Time. <laughs> So I got some snacks over here, Nana. Just let me know this nigga, bro, Kumasan. And the value of time on t- on the topic of Instagram. I feel like if a girl wants the man, she will get right on all levels. She still might post, but it's gonna be different energy. Exactly. She will know exactly what's good, and what she I doesn't. Said. Thank you. Material. Yeah, what are you, I thank like you. Yeah, but y'all but, were all literally just arguing for that. What's your no, 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 but that. No, what, what's what's your side? Side, Mari? <laughs> Can I know your zodiac sign, please? That has nothing to do with nothing. No, him. No. I want to know his. Go ahead, you're saying Google something? it. No, I'm saying <laughs> bring, bring the mic closer to you so they can actually hear you. But no, what I'm saying, whatever that comment said, I said I totally agree with that. But what we were speaking on, I wasn't talking about changing or nothing. You were just asking me questions, and I was just answering my perspective on the, the question was is it cheating if a girl maintains sexy photos of, her, of herself on instagram and you said no yes but look what it said it said have to change i i didn't mention anything about having to change but that says something about if like i don't know what it said but i know it made sense <laughs> it's right here it says on the top of the bro, all right man let's can't just, make this shit yeah, up, you can't make this up bro. Yes. uh okay, okay let's just continue we go. got oddly newell 20 bucks says i'm behind by about 30 on showtime First off, congrats on 700k. Keep up the amazing work, fellas. Second, Maras Clot. Get the b- hey. uh, bar hey. demon girl. Want to be in on demons on demand ASAP. Make her exception to the rule. Okay. And Sabian Haham, 50 bucks says, Thank you, Brandon Haham, for introducing oh, me man. to Fresh and Fit. Congrats oh, on 700k uh, subs. Okay. Now someone said, Who brought? I'm done. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Bro, fuck that. Bitch. I think Susie was worse. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Because she was touching people. Yeah. Okay. So, ladies. Right. This last, we'll thoughts? Do. last thoughts on the show. <laughs> Hate it, love it. How's the show? Questions, comments you want to add? We'll start with you. Love the show. How was the show? Hate it, love it. Was it good, bad? I like the show. It was kind of different because we all had different perspectives. We were able to sell, say, say everything in the table, hear each other out, um, opinions. And you were mad quiet. I mean, I'm listening, like observing. Yeah. Like one thing yeah. is you, you gotta there? listen and stuff like that. Yeah, you were, you were. Yeah, you know. Do the concepts make sense to you? Yeah, now it does, and especially when you guys are like. Like dissecting it. Like, okay, better. Are you gonna, are you gonna find a man now? 
I don't uh, <laughs> see. I don't find a man. I just like okay, chill. They first. come to you. Yeah, yeah, come to me. Do you want a man? Do I want a man? Of course, I would want a man. I would want someone to be there for me, like and support me, hundred percent. So put him to work. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what the All fuck right. you sitting there for? Um, first thing I gotta say, shout out to DJ Detox. I wouldn't be here without him. Shout out Detox, man. <laughs> he out of me right now. Um, the second thing I had to ask, I had a question for you guys. So sure. when you guys are putting out all this advice and everything, are you guys making sure the guys you guys are giving this advice to are a hundred percent like how you tell them to be before you give them the advice that you give them? Do you get what I'm trying to say? I you can understand what you, yeah. I you can give someone advice, but you can't bring a horse to drink water. That's so for exactly example, about to say. I can give someone the best advice possible. Right. But if they're not ready for it, it doesn't matter what I do. Mm -hmm. So all we can do is be the messenger. Say, hey, guys, mm -hmm. it's how, how you should operate, what you can do, mm -hmm. but you don't have to. Okay. That's all we do. Yeah, um, we, we tell guys, so like this is a daytime show. We actually call this after hours for a reason. The main show is the, the, the self-improvement stuff during the day. Right. And uh, and I think you guys caught it, came in at the end of it. You might have heard the, the end of it. Um, basically, long story short, we tell guys they got to get all their shit together. They got to get their money up. They got to get in shape. Fitness, they mindset. have to understand how women think in general, understand female nature so they're not surprised or mad about it. Um, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but surprise. I knew what you guys were going to say every single time I presented your concept because we've interviewed a lot of girls at this point and we're pretty familiar with how women think and women think much differently than men do. Uh, but we tell guys all the time that um, it's your fault if you're not attractive. It's not necessarily all you got to self improve yourself and then the girls are going to come as a exactly. byproduct of your success. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't chase mm -hmm. the women, you chase the success and then the women are a byproduct of said success. So um, another thing too is that when we say the things that we say as far as like, you know, commanding uh, excellence from your girl, making sure that she has a certain type of, she moves a certain way. She's not going to do that unless she feels it, unless she respects you first. Mm -hmm. And that respect, unfortunately, a lot of the times for guys, right, is it's based on performance. You must become as a man if you want to come. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we do it so to answer your question. We tell guys they got to become the complete package because girls are not going to sit there and, you know, change their Instagram for you, change the way they dress. Um, change certain bad habits that are not conducive to a long-term relationship if they don't see you as the best candidate that they can get. Right. Women will change, but it's got to make sure that it's the best guy. Right. Okay. Absolutely. So, yeah. so yes, a bum cannot do this, basically. We tell them you can't be a bum and do this shit. It ain't going to work. She's going to laugh at you. I mean, it's like confusing because I feel like most of the time guys aren't honest, so it's interesting to hear, I guess, like the guy's perspective. What was the thing that shocked you the most? I don't know because I feel like when I if I like on Instagram if I post the bikini pictures not because I'm a ho you know what I mean like I'm not out here wanting to not be wifed or whatever but then it's like I don't know if I feel like I look cute in the picture but now I'm mm -hmm. like damn like should I not be posting bikini pictures like I, I don't should. know but the, like cause the thing is like no matter what I what pose I do like it's gonna show off because of my, the way my body looks yeah. exactly. don't pose at all that's true so I'm, I'm I don't can't pose. do it I just Wait, can't how, how does your body look. She thick. Like, yeah. I just, I, I'm yeah. not like a, like, you know, I'm not that skinny. Can you set like, up? <laughs> yeah. She is Wait, thick. She's 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 I don't know. I might. Do a twirl. In a thumbnail. Thick yeah, as yeah. hell, but I don't know how. Okay. Yes. I, should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You went to all the four. Yeah, you be you be in the indecisive. Hey, all right, you twelve. Do. Okay. Oh shit. She, oh, exactly. She, 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 can't she see it, Chris. Bro, Wait. she's like not even camera even aware. Get that hit seven. Hit seven. Yeah, but it's so dark. All right, yeah, okay. because she's wearing black. Okay, yeah. so okay. uh, pink. So uh, sorry, uh, can you can you bring bring that towards you? Oh, well, out a little bit. Oh, come out a little bit. <laughs> So okay, so you're you're basically confused about what I'm I'm trying to establish this. What are you confused about? Anyways. Exactly? Um, if I post like a bikini picture, like it's literally like I'm gonna just be like a whole anyway because of the way my body looks. Not like even if my intentions are to just post like, post, like an innocent pic, it's not gonna be okay, perceived that way. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, man. I'm simply saying, like, how <sighs> perception a lot of the time is reality. So if you're dressed a certain way, people are gonna perceive you a certain way, and unfortunately for for you. The world doesn't owe you understanding. So, mm -hmm. like, if I go to a club dressed in jean shorts and a baggy ass white tee, and I come talk to you, are you going to give me the time of day, realistically speaking? The answer is no. Nope. So, if you post certain pictures of yourself on the internet, 
you're going to get a lot of attention. You're going to get sexual attention for sure. You know, guys are going to be sending you the tongue emoji, all this other fuck shit. Yeah. But how many of those are, are actually real viable candidates that you that you could potentially mm -hmm. admire and respect? And if that guy does come along, all I'm simply saying is you got to fight to keep them. Guy game is attaining the girl. Girl game is retaining the guy. So just because you attracted him under a certain premise doesn't necessarily mean you need to keep having that stuff going on to maintain that attraction. I would argue, if anything, you got to cut that shit off so you can maintain the guy. You know, so you got to pick one. Do you want to ma maintain your sexual market value and be able to get simps to still simp yeah. on you and give you attention? Or do you want to maintain the guy that you might actually like and want you to take seriously? Mm -hmm. And I think this is an issue, a problem. It's a double-edged sword that a lot of women deal with where they want to still enjoy the benefits of being single and getting attention and praise while simultaneously being able to get a guy to take them seriously. And I'm here to tell you the uncomfortable truth. Most guys aren't going to take you seriously if you're going to be an attention whore on the, in on the internet. <clears throat> so it's up to the girl to figure out, is this guy worth it? And if he is, you need to start taking preemptive steps to keep that man. He's not yeah. going to tell you. Literally. Just like, you, just like you don't expect me. If I'm on a date, you just expect me to understand what to do, right? Yeah. I, I should just understand. I should pay for the bill. I should lead you. I should tell you, hey, meet me at this place. Okay, I got it planned. You're <clears> going to certain. You're gonna expect me to have certain masculine traits, right? Mm -hmm. So the man is going to uh, expect you to have certain ladylike traits. And unfortunately, ladylike traits are suppressing yeah. yourself from a sexual standpoint mm -hmm. and not making yourself have a for sale sign after he paid full price for the car. And I know some of you are like, oh, well, I, well, I should be getting wiped anyway. It doesn't work that way. You want to apply for a job? You got to, you, you want to get a job? You have to apply for that job and make sure you adhere to the code of conduct. And depending on the guy and the more applicants he has, the more selective he is in the hiring process. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. Cool. What about you? Um, I really enjoyed this the show. Everything was entertaining. Um, I often have a lot of conversations with my male colleagues about this situation. So this is nothing new to me. Mm. That's why I kept saying the whole show. I'm very versatile when it comes down to, you know, perspectives and opinions on, you know, outlooks of how women should be, you know, on and offline. So um, I was just telling her off camera about, you know, being submissive and, you know, kind of like just toning down the masculine energy as a female. So that's yeah. smart. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you. Kiki. Show is great, beautiful panel of ladies, and thanks for like my hundredth time back. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, where can cool. they find you? Uh, oh, um, uh, Pornhub. You can Google me. All my links will pop up. Pornhub, Twitter, Instagram, Kiki the Snack for Instagram, um, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter is at Cloud Kiki. Only fans at Cloud Kiki. Um, just Google me. Cool. Shout out to you. And and all the ladies' uh, social medias are below as well, guys. So if you want to send dick pics, feel free. Just don't Miss, do it if you're in the UK. Miss Homestead. <laughs> What's up? Um, personally, I I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed hearing both your perspective in person and your perspective on just basically um, males versus women, pretty much. It is. It was definitely interesting to hear how you all take like social media, like as in mentally. Um, cause um, once again, that happened to me in reality. So, it, yeah. you know, it made it it some made, dots yeah, for you it in your marriage. Literally. So and condolences to him. Right. Wonderful. Um, yeah. thank yes. you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so pretty much, but it was an amazing show and thank you for having me. You're welcome. Cool. Um, well, I enjoyed the show, you know, um, it was a great show. Um, I actually learned some stuff, you know, I learned right. some stuff. What was yeah. the, what was the thing that stuck out to you the most? I guess. Um, about well, I kind of knew this, but actually hearing it from you from a man is different. Like when Which you part? said, um, when you was like, oh, a man will feel like this, but he won't tell you. You yeah. feel me? I feel like that's true, but like I ain't ever heard a man literally come out his mouth and say that. But you know, you did, so I'm like, okay, you feel me? Okay, that's okay. cool. And yeah, my name is Love Donique. And I'm an artist, and I got, I'm working on my album. My album about to drop soon. All right. Wait, you, spell, you want to spell bar? <laughs> All right. Let's hear it. Okay. Oh, I'll come after you. No. Okay. I'll go after. Okay. Go ahead. I loved it. Thank you so much. Y'all need some snacks for sure. <laughs> um, I would love to be here again because I have so much more to talk about. Okay. And. Well, you um, tried tonight. You just failed, but talk, it's okay. Nah, next time I have to come more prepared because I came like yeah, super she, last. I didn't even know what <clears throat> podcast I was going to be. She, this she the came first. like Nigga, a like I, for a show. Nigga, you nah, came hungry. 
I, I came in like my waist trainer. Like yeah. I came from the gym. I had to change. Like I didn't have, I don't have makeup. So yeah, she's fine. Um, I don't know how that help you articulate your arguments. Better, shut but that's the quantum. Okay. Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All she right. Oh, that's yeah, so yeah. Oh, you guys are going to be starving too. So I want to hear the rap. Okay. Let's go. Go ahead, drop a beat. We'll another close one. with this. Go ahead, drop another a beat. Another one. And another oh, beat. I, I don't have a beat, man. Uh, yeah. uh, no, I mean, like your hand. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, okay, all right. Um, so I'm not a beatboxer, but go ahead, somebody. Wait, wait, wait. There's too many beats going on right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> please, you just do. Okay, okay, okay. Do okay. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, check it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I said, I said, a paka paka poo, kaka paka paka pe, a paka paka pe, papa. Sometimes I do that too, okay. and I go, go, go keep going. Okay. Uh, uh, and sometimes I go, yeah. Mm. I I do my thing, yeah. I do my thing. I said, Julia, huh? and I would never make a fool of you, <laughs> yeah. Uh. Sometimes I just do my thing sometimes. Okay, okay. Right. I'm really, I'm fucking with it. All right. I do my thing sometimes. Wait, wait. Oh, here we go. I do my thing sometimes. Oh, wait, what is this? What is this? What did you even put Y'all this on? Like Thank you. I don't know what the hell just happened. I tried to keep it together in the beginning because I thought you wanted me to take you serious, but I couldn't. Oh, so yeah, I don't like it. That sounded like the gunshots when we robbed the bank the other week. I didn't know what the fuck happened. Sounded like someone from Opalaka. Yeah, allegedly. Oh my god, bro. Have a good night, sis. Okay. My shit is in Spanish. (sighs) Oh wait, I have a the post I have of it's me rapping in English. Go ahead. No, I I, check my last post. It's me rapping. Nah, we ain't checking post. Yeah. 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 So, is there some chats here, Chris? Are we good? Uh, let me check right now. We have I want to Don't turn right. let, her, let her spit a quick uh, Spanish verse. Oh, go ahead. No, I'm going to spit what I have already out on the okay. IG. Um, Nigga, this better be good. It's, I'm going to do like four bars. <laughs> I'm not going to go out. I think I'll see. Hold on. Uh, hold on. We, we, we got uh, eGames. If she can have an uh, Instagram profile, can she have a sugar daddy profile? <laughs> That's funny. Dr. Mo777 says, Grisho ladies, and no one got kicked out. All right, go ahead. Oh, five six lifestyle oh. goes feminine watch giving off smooth brain vibes. <laughs> <laughs> and for Dr. Mo, oh, shit. so Dr. Mo, Dr. Mo, commercial ladies, and no one got kicked out. All right, so uh, you go ahead, wrap your. You, it's it's reggaeton, it's Spanish. What is it? You want Spanish or English? Spanish. 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 Yeah. Yeah. All the night. All right, go ahead. Ah. Uh. <laughs> beat. Okay. Do you want me to do uh, a different one? No, let me see it. Hey. Uh, uh, All right, uh. you got you got it. Speak your Spanish first. Okay. Go ahead. Uh. Hey. Go slow. Tengo... <coughs> Hold on. Go, go. You said, No, no. It's not that. It's, it's not that. That. Okay. Porque tengo muchos enemigos, muchos que me pegan tiros, muchos que me envían y me río mal entre dos elegantes sin insultos originales y sustitutos para que sepa esto lo grabé en solo 10 minutos. Hey. <risa> de nadie que está hablando, mientras mi cuenta de banco siempre está aumentando. Nunca esperando, llamo a pedir mi saldo cuando entro directamente me pasan con el mando. You a little boy, all you know is a talk. Hey. If you wanna talk, the, wait. If you wanna talk the talk, then walk the walk. Don't say you got a gun, I hit my shooters up. Then we hit you on a spec. With your Millie Rock. I don't care you from the west side or the east side. Don't get into it. I don't kiss ass. I don't dig right uh, like drinking going over to seaside. Taking mm-hmm. you to your grave. Hey. 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 You ain't about that life. Yo tengo chanelito sigue con tu Nike. Este chanteo to keep more than on Nike. And it's all you're No, I've been changed. No, I've been changed. Hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Y